<laughs> Since we brought up being rated R. You got that, Vincent? Are we? Bye. Hi, Faith. Hi, Romero. You're being recorded, Vincent? Vincent. Oh, geez. Here we go. You're, you're doing it kind of early. Usually it's when we come back. Yeah, you did just come back. Yeah, we did. It's usually when I have it ready whenever you come back, but I was distracted. Uh, distracted. Somebody mentioned ratings and she immediately remembered we had to record. That must be it. I'm sure that was it. All right. Did somebody besides Queen Elizabeth died today. I forgot the person's name. Somebody, I did see yeah, somebody yeah, died. Yeah, so CNN, I think. Uh, and I thought to myself, yeah. that Bernard, poor Bernard, lady. Shaw. Bernard Shaw. Nobody's oh. going to, everybody's going to be talking about the Queen. Nobody's got, gonna, like, somebody got, else did, though. Famous 20, comedian, 20 his wife or something. Oh, another person. Oh, I'm sure was. many people died today. Yeah, no, but celebrities. So <laughs> Usually I, three people die at a time. Yeah. Ooh, where's Adrian when you need her? <laughs> Put her in a segment. Oh, the original CNN thing. anchor died today. Yeah, I just said that, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hear Bernard Shaw. Yeah, oh, but there was wow. some, some comedian who was famous. His wife died today. She was 97. You know, that's pretty awesome. It's a good age. <laughs> You know, I, I had uh, Adrian and I were going back and forth of this with because uh, we she's almost done. She's this close to finishing <laughs> the Winchester Mystery House Wikipedia page, and her and I spent a ton of time on it yesterday, the day before. And she says one of the parts she had in there was some tragedy that she had all these tragedies because her her in laws died and her husband died all in the same six months or something. I said. Hmm, her husband dying, that's a tragedy, but your in-laws? Well, I'm not so sure about that. I said, how old was her in-laws? Oh, they were in their 90s. I'm like, no, I don't I don't hmm. see that as a tragedy. If it's in-laws, it's not a tragedy, tragedy <laughs> at all. Kevin, Kevin, it was David Arnold that died today, the comedian. It wasn't a comedian's wife. No, was, somebody else because this guy it could have been don't know who that is. There's another one because the guy was like famously funny screwy kind of comedy mm -hmm. and he died years ago but his wife died today she was 97. Oh, I, did, I didn't see so just now that you were there faith i made i made a post that you might appreciate or not appreciate today what? My, my post today ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. empirical evidence we'll just call you ee -E. you know people are like you should change your name to reason and i'm like no yeah there we go not happening like that. I like that. I'd rather be reason. That'd be great. I like saying hi. My name is Faith, and I'm an atheist. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Great a, we had a group. Uh, somebody in our group who was um, they were atheists. There was in our Monterey County skeptics for a while, and they, their little girl was Grace. And they said oh, we always find it really ironic that we named her Grace. I'm like, okay. I think it's still very pretty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you guys hear that? Okay. Here we go. From what I understand, we're having a game today. Somebody we're got allergies it. in the next room. It's Thursday for a very long part of the day today. I thought it was Wednesday because I usually have a genealogy class on Thursdays. And we skipped it today. So I was really lost. All right, here we go. We have group names. I am really interested in what you guys are coming up with. Paula is at the Hollywood Bowl tonight. And she regrets not being here tonight of all nights. Of all nights. Because she says... There are going to be some creative names tonight that are going to be queen related. What's at I the said, Hollywood Bowl? At the Hollywood Bowl. What's going on there? Oh, she's got tickets. Every other Thursday, they have tickets to some kind of I don't know, play or music. I don't know. So um, it's not as interesting as this. I mean, you know, she can watch it on YouTube or something. But their game. Ours this is personal. This is great. But anyway, so she... Um, and I was telling you guys, I said, I think that we're going to see a lot of names that are queen related tied into the Mar-a-Lago thing. Something clever. I'm sure you guys come up with stuff. So no pressure or anything, but that's what I'm just making that prediction now that you guys are all committed to your to your team names. Don't do that, Kevin. Don't shake your no, head. I, well, we decided against it. You're going to do a dad joke, aren't you? Some bad pun. You what do, what do you gay the horses same team eat? With Vincent? What do gay horses eat? I think we need to start a, a tradition where you lose a point for your team by eat. making bad jokes. They eat. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. So team number one, Caspian, oh. Gail, Carl, and Vincent. What is your team name tonight? Already in the chat. What is the winning team name? We're really going to miss Freddie Mercury. Yeah. We're really, ah, oh, because Queen died. Oh, see, that's clever. Oh, I didn't get that. That's good. That's clever. <laughs> see? Yeah. We're really going to miss uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. I like clever. That one but is... Brian May's still around, so it's okay. Yeah. Long live King Brian. Mm. <laughs> All right. Cindy, Peggy, Rob, and Terry, what is your winning team's name? We are the special master debaters. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's good. Keeping with the theme. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Special master debaters. <laughs> We're looking forward to Susan mispronouncing that. I was going to say, hopefully Susan can say that without mispronouncing it. I think I can handle that one. From the video from is going to get taken down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so team number three, Bob, Janine, Kevin, and Mike. What is your winning team's name? The Empty Folders. Mm. And oh. we were also wondering... Why there isn't someone who's doing a category in our in our group? Uh oh. Uh, let me look. I mean, I you probably don't have, to have a reason. It. It's fine. Um, <laughs> you have a reason, Mike. You are doing a category tonight. No, I have no category <laughs> for tonight. Well, I can why. do one. I can do one if you want. No, but I have to have somebody in that cat in that room. I'm in that group. Oh, okay. So let me see who's in there. Kevin, Mike, Janine, and Bob. Sorry, I have no category. I did not. Okay. I do not remember having. You got volunteered last. You had week. your hand up last your week. You probably had the volunteer. Like, like, I'm sorry. I thought that was, that we were kidding. We got to go to the video. <laughs> <laughs> go to the tape. Right. Your Honor, I'd like to present Exhibit A. It was I'm weird. Like, weird I like, like, I, like, I do like this. And well, probably, as I sometimes do, not paying attention. Yeah, and we can ask for a special master debater to go through the, <laughs> go through the files and see if you really did or not. You, you uh, can add. Well, <laughs> Jane, well, Jane, well, Leonard, and Sarah, who are you guys winning? What's your winning team? Where are all the hats at? No, going. Where are all the hats going? Where are all the hats going? Oh, where are all the hats going? Okay. The, the Queen's hats. Yeah. Oh, oh they got to go to a museum. Oh. Or maybe you they can give them away to homeless people. <laughs> what would they need to do with a hat? Look, they can look like royalty. Too, okay? She was she she had some awesome hats. Why well, don't you think your homeless yeah. people should have nice hats, Susan? Well, they, you know, I don't think they'd be. No, I don't think they want a hat that looks like Queen Elizabeth. They'd just have somebody laugh at them. That would... Might be able to trade it for a bottle of booze, though. You won't <laughs> say that's not nice. That's not true. It's Un just true. Unhoused people. I think trading is good. That they are alcoholics. Yeah, you don't pay taxes. <laughs> Jamie, Kyle, Mark, Romero, and Faith, get us out of this. We are the devil's haircut. Devil's haircut? <laughs> is that apostrophe S or just S? Oh, I was thinking it's apostrophe possessive. Okay, because it's the devil's haircut. Yeah. Not a not a plural of devils. What? What's the, re it's, what's it's the not reference? Devil is what's the haircut. Reference? What, what does that relate to? Yeah. Punctuation. Yeah. You want spelling or punctuation? You got to come to me. No, no, no. But, no, but where, why, where's what, the phrase? What's, yeah, what's what's it relate to? We were That's talking we can... about the currency having to change, and it came uh, up that one of the bills in Canada with the Queen's image on it, somebody had drawn the devil's face in her hair. Ooh. No, no, no bills need to change, just new ones. The new it's yeah, not a, it's so not a big deal. <laughs> well, they used them for years. Gums. Yeah. yeah. How are they going to fit Charles's ears and head and everything? <laughs> oh gosh. 
The same way they fit her. The same way they fit her crown. Well, mm-hmm. oh, that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, I shouldn't be mean. That's I need to be kinder. I will put that on my list of New Year's resolutions next year. A kinder, okay. gentler Susan. Yeah. Uh, what, what? A kinder, gentler Susan. Oh yeah. Uh, a thousand points of Susan. A thousand, a thousand points of love. Okay, maybe somebody will make a big piece of art that we can put in the White House of me. All right, so we are here, game number 124. Pretty awesome, right? Season three, episode 15. (laughs) On today, the day of sadness. It's a Thursday, which is always a happy day, but the sadness is that Queen Elizabeth II has died and we have Prince, oh, King Charles, or we don't know what his name is going to be yet. Uh, His real name is King Charles the Third. King Chuck the (laughs) Third. King Charles the Third, the third Schrift Bach. We're gonna have this this king, so this is gonna be kind of scary. So a little. I actually watched that last night. Are they gonna kick Kirstie Alley out though and replace her with uh, the one that one big Robin? Anyway, our team names tonight. On this wonderful, amazing night of September the 8th of 2022, we have five teams that are dueling it out. Five teams, I tell you, five, five whole teams that are going to try their best to knock off the other teams and and come out the amazing winner for the major trophy that you're going to get of bragging rights, bragging rights um, for tonight. Game 124. And the teams that are competing tonight are we're really going to miss Freddie Mercury versus the special master debaters versus the empty folders versus where are all the hats going versus the devil's haircut. So we have as our team leaders tonight with the questions we have Gail up first. I hope she knows that. Gail's always ready. And we have Rob, who must be doing something because he's got some kind of crowded thing in the background that's going to have something to do with it. And it's going to be Marvel or superheroes or something related, it looks like. Or men who are buffed or bright colors <laughs> or something. I don't know. I do believe there are some females in there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, there are. Marvel things. Anyway, Kevin is taking on the volunteering position that Mike had volunteered for last week. Oh, and- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I remember, you, Mike, your hand was up just like it is now when we said My hand right. is always <laughs> up. <laughs> it brought, you were, you were voluntold. A, a wrist. <laughs> Followed by Jane, <laughs> who's going to have her first ever category. So Ooh. you guys have to be extra nice. It doesn't matter how bad Jane blows it tonight. <laughs> Right. My, if my she even was a tonight, you are to not notice and just say kind things. The next time she does it, you can do whatever you want. Followed by our bonus category, which will not be name that parrot because it is going to be Kyle. <laughs> well, it could be name that parrot. You've given away my round. Come on. <laughs> it's Kyle tonight. So <laughs> we're all there. I need to make a master. Oh, who? What is it? Okay, special, master, first. special master. I need to make a special master for somebody. Okay, so I'm making Gail our co host. And I think I will make it to be Leonard because he hasn't been around in a while. Okay, Leonard, you're in charge of kicking people off, getting rid of trolls, using us, all that fun stuff. Gail, you are up. Okay, I'm ready. Our first category today is going to be glass. History and making it. Glass. Beauty in three, two, one. Hold on just a second because Deborah's joining, right? Oops. Deborah's joining. Give her a second to fully get in here so we can um she could hear the first question with everybody else. Where am I gonna put Gail? Oh, wait a minute. Deborah. I think I'm going to put her over on. I got to sign out and sign back in with my phone. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna put Terry, I'm gonna put her with Terry because she'll she'll love her, that team name. Deborah, What's are you it? there? Connecting to audio. She's connecting. Connecting to audio. By the way, I was away for a bit and I just saw the team name. Where are all the hats going? What does that have to do with anything? What's that one? When Queen Elizabeth died, where do all the hats go? Where do okay. All I did not the know she was famous for wearing hats. Go. All right. They, they go to a special hat farm where they can run and play with other hats. On the hill with the other Rob, hat. have you ever seen a picture of her? <laughs> Once or twice. Yeah, she has a hat on. She's got. A, I know she's got a hat on in that picture. Whatever picture it was. Unless it's indoors. The hat's gone. Okay, Deborah, but How does she wear that with a crown? I'm confused. She wears her hat is a crown. <laughs> Deborah's here. Or, or her crown is a hat. Okay, Deborah, we're waiting for you because Gail is up and she's about to start a category. And I believe she said it's glass. And the glass. team, the team you're on, Deborah, I know you're gonna love this. Your team name. The special master debaters. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> Gotta put okay, me in room three. It's that little D in there that really makes a difference. Susan, you gotta put me in room three. Okay, I will. When it's time. Yeah. <clears throat> and Deborah, you're not muted. Now you are. Okay, are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put them up as I'm reading them. The category is glass. Stone Age people used natural glass for weapons and decorative objects. What was this natural glass? Question two. True or false? According to archaeological evidence, and that's important because there's great dispute about this, but according to the archaeological evidence, the first man-made glass was made in Egypt and Mesopotamia around 3500 BCE. Question three. What city was Europe's major center for luxury glass, glass from the high Middle Ages to the Renaissance, although since the 13th century, it was actually made on the island of Murano? Okay, question four. Although modern glass contains many ingredients that can include sodium carbonate to lower the melting point or lime, magnesium oxide and aluminum oxide and others, what is the major ingredient in all glass? Number five. What invention from Syrian and Palestinian glass workers transformed glass manufacturing into a cheap and easily used material? Question six. Glass is heated in furnaces that are extremely hot. The glass maker inserts the glass into the furnace, thinning it. What is this furnace called by the people who do it? What do they call it? Question seven. Glass with a very high lead content and borax, potassium chloride, and white arsenic can be colored to make jewelry that imitates real gemstones. What name is given to these pieces due to the mixing process? Okay. Question eight. Making smooth flat glass sheets, like for windows, 
required grinding and polishing before floating the glass on what metal with a lower metal melting point? The way it's done today. Question nine. This is a multiple choice. Which of the following is not an actual tool or process used in glass making? A, nippers, like a form of scissors that chew up molten glass. B, confetti, made by shattering finely blown colored glass. C, noodle, a thin, flat fettuccine-like length of glass used as a decorative element. D, combing, a rake-like tool that is drawn across molten glass to create patterns or E, they're all natural, none of the above. Okay, question 10. Leaded glass is actually an amorphous solid prized because of its clarity. It is commonly known by what technically incorrect name? And because I realize some of these might be really obscure and rather uh, unknown to many people, we have two bonus questions that are actually related to each other. Bonus one, Netflix has presented the third full season of a show, a show that has been called The Great British Bake Off, but with glass blowing. So what is the title of the program? And bonus two, based on that program, when the glassmaking contestants finish their entry, they do not place it on the viewing stand, but put it into the blank to cool at a controlled rate so that it won't break from thermal stress. That, by the way, is done by all glassmakers, not just on that program. And that word is used by all glassmakers. Okay, are there any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Okay. So number five seems to have a grammatical error and I'm not sure where it is, but it says transforms glass manufacturing into a cheap and easily used material. So manufacturing isn't a material. So what's the, what's it's wrong the glass being, you, being transferred before this, that, that um, process was discovered, glass was very expensive and difficult to make. And this was the process that made glass inexpensive and more, less expensive and readily available. In other words, transform glass into a cheap and easily used material. Right. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. No, I like the category. Not that I'm going to be much help, but I, I really like the category. <laughs> Very clever. All right. So, Leonard or um, Gail, if you want to send us to our teams, and I will put those people who are not yet there on their teams. Mm. which will be oh look at a whole oh look hi ben i just saw you joined okay so deborah's going on the master faders kevin is on the three folders. <laughs> i thought you would like that ben we're going to put you over on One, two, who's leaving? Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. I'm going to put you over on three, the empty folders. Okay, there we go. And Gail, you should have your powers. And Kevin, you have your room assignment. Thank you. Hey, oh, Susan. Hi. Hi, team. Apparently, we're being recorded. Is that okay? <laughs> wow. Oh, I just have to funny. do it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. So uh, number one is going to be obsidian. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, you're right.
Uh, I could see number two being true. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think that's could the it be earlier. Because it's like from 5000 BCE, right? Egypt? I don't know that there was an Egypt that long ago. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't have been called Egypt. It would have been called the... I, I like true for number two. Yeah. I am good with that. Three is Venice. Yes. And they, they moved all the glass makers to Murano so they could get their all their smoky, fire-prone smokestacks off the island. Yeah. Uh, sand, right? Silicon dioxide. Yeah, I was trying to remember what sand is. SiO2. Silicon. No E. What invention? Sila oh, sil silicon. Silicon. Glass manufacturing into a cheap and easy to use material. What invention? Di, di, uh, uh, so it'd probably be number five would be some IDE. fire. The e -E? Yeah. dioxide. Okay. Are they just is five just talking about glass blowing? Well that seems unlikely to me. Could it just be a special kiln, you know, like a, a furnace that's really, really, can we get the heat temperatures really high? Uh, I guess. No. Glass blowing? Oh, let's two people for glass blowing what i wrote but no no i'm just i'm just putting whatever one else it'd is. be an invention so like the big iron pole that they blow well, into inventions can also be processes and techniques they don't have to be things just making uh, somebody said glass blowing so can i put that down or yeah put go it down until we down. have something else to put there all right. I'm thinking it's more something that has to do with um, making it cheap and easy. Uh, okay, let's think about it. Glasses. You come back to it. That are extremely yeah. hot. Uh, you just reminded me something, Susan, mm. when you said cheap and easy. <laughs> I just. <laughs> You better not be thinking of me. Uh, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Good fighting words. A uh, glass with a very. What is the furnace called? I've seen I... it several times. Um, it's not kiln? a kiln. It's not a kiln. Okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know either. I mean, it sounds like glass blowing, but it's not a furnace. Um, we go back to it. Is it cubic zirconium, number seven? Yeah, I was thinking that. I seven? mean, it does look like real gemstones. Um, let me read the wording on seven again.
Yeah, I don't know. A metal with a lower melting point than glass. Which one are you looking at? Mercury. Oh, um, I was thinking copper. Oh, I think it's tin. Okay. Uh, what is the melting point of uh, glass? I think seven is paste. Seven paste is jewelry. what? Paste, because you often refer to fake glass gems as paste. Paste. Oh, you're right. That makes sense. Paste jewelry, yeah. Just think of Poirot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. You can just put paste. That's fine. Number nine, I think it's all of the processes. Uh, I that's what I put. So it'd be E. Yep, I'm good with that. Okay, so this one and number ten, I'm taking a wild guess, and I think it's the Great British Blow Off. No, you you skipped ahead. On <laughs> ten, oh yeah. Ten, ten is oh, lead not the crystal. bonus, the first bonus. Ten, ten is lead crystal. Ah. Uh, and I believe the bonus is blown away. Well, like I said, the great British blow off. <laughs> and they probably put them in a refrigerator. Um, Ice box, they call them over there in Britain. Is that where we're going to go with bonus number one, the Great British Blow Off? No. Oh, okay. Shame. It's blown away. Blown away? Uh -huh. So, what is Prince Charles' name? I think they've got his name out now. Charles the Third. Oh, somebody says they're really pissed off because he didn't use Arthur. That's one of his middle names. Yeah, that was never going to happen. Uh, so what are we missing? We're missing six. Six, yeah. So he's put some thought into it, huh? Charles the third. Oh, it's quiet. Maybe it's just kiln. Kiln? I thought it was fridge. Because that way you can control the temperature very easily. But I'm just a lowly guest here in your... And you're, um, we're going to miss Freddie Mercury room. It's so quiet, like you said, Vincent. My goodness. No, it's quiet because I turned um, so, here. Sure. No, I, uh, I think maybe they want pot furnace. Pot furnace. The glass furnace is a pot furnace. Pot furnace. Yeah. Is that for the refrigerator one? No, for six. Oh.
That could be. That sounds familiar. Gail can see how bad we are doing. I think we're actually doing amazing. Oh, I think we're doing okay, I would think. Uh, I am doing nothing but trying to talk them out of the answers that they feel so confident about, <laughs> as is my role in life. Uh, I have no role in life. Well, well take, you're doing it right now. You're taking, taking care, care of, of well, mom. Yes, taking care of my mom, yeah. That's why I can't stay on for the whole night, because I got to go tomorrow. So you've got all of the cat, all of them done. Uh, the last one them. you don't. I'm arguing that I want it to be a refrigerator, but they think for 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 bonus two, they don't put it in an ice box. They put it in an oven. You want to cool it very slowly. You can bring down the temperature from a high temperature. You don't want to. Yeah, you, know, you use a, an oven to cool it down slowly. Oh, okay, that does make sense. Even though a refrigerator could have. But let me tell you what I've told a couple of other teams with similar comments. When it's a question of ter terminology, the terminology I'm looking for is the one the glass blowers use. These are common words among glass blowers. Oh, so we can't put ice box. We have to put. Well, it wouldn't be an ice box anyway. That would cool it way too fast. Use an annealing oven to cool it down. Annealing oven? Yeah. Paula's going to be upset. She missed this category. She would have done really well at it. Okay, I think I'm going to close the rooms because it looks like everybody's close to finish. Okay. What? Uh, so, what's the bonus number two then? Uh, I said an annealing oven. Kneeling, I know she's looking for some. I know she's looking for some different term. Kneeling oven. A kneeling. A n n e a l i n g. A n n e e a l i n g. A l i n. And kneeling. That. Um. Uh, there might be an a by that e, but spelling's not going to matter that much. Okay, so let's see, obsidian, true, venice, silicon dioxide, glass blowing, pot, furnace, e, paste glass, tin, e, lead crystal, blown away. That's a pretty good uh, glass blowing show. If you ever, if you have Netflix, you should check it out. Oh, so you have glass. And it's really fascinating to watch them. It's like every cooking show I've ever seen, only it's all with glass. Mm -hmm. and with yeah, it's pretty fascinating. Uh, yeah, that show really blows me away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can see right through it. <laughs> well, it depends on whether the uh, uh, the the reveal room has yeah. its uh, uh, its <laughs> glass shaded or not. <laughs> Boy, we're just going with the buns today. Cool. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that show is just like that, actually. Well, it's British, so you got to have puns. Ah, uh, yes. It's not. It's not British. Oh, well, it's not British. The, the other one is. The British baking show is very British. Yeah, but they, the, the, the quote was about the British baking show, but the program. Got it. In fact, the winner gets a, a residency in, in the uh, Corning Glassworks. Oh. Which is apparently highly prized. Are so we ready for the answers? Yep. Absolutely. Okay, I will read them all and then I'll put the whole list in the chat, okay? Okay, question one, Stone Age people uh, used um, natural glass and it was obsidian, which was Yay. a volcano. Yay, whoever got that. Mm -hmm. Moi. And number two, number two <laughs> is true. It's very All controversial. Right. That's why I said according to the archaeological evidence. There's some evidence that it's even older than that, but the archaeological evidence available. We were debating whether the single window in Noah's Ark had glass in it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's the problem. Right? So then it would be even older than most of the people. Yeah, think. that would be. Okay, well, question. it had to be an open air window, Rob, otherwise it would have stunk like crazy. Otherwise, yeah. Well, they just opened it a lot. And that's yeah. where the 
uh, the Trianosaurus stuck its tail out or whatever. You know. <laughs> Stepiopod or whatever their names are. Question question three is the, the major center for luxury glass. Um, somebody said it exactly right. Might have been Coral actually. The answer is Venice. Yeah. Venetian glass is famous. Yeah. And it was actually made on Murano because they burned down the cities once because they couldn't control the heat and they were banished to there and not permitted to make it anywhere else. Um, that, was, question that was Carl. Four, I, there was some argument about whether it's sand or silica and I said both. Either answer okay. is acceptable. Okay. I think everyone yeah. got that one. Which one? Four, sand or silica. Okay. Question five, the invention, inventions don't have to be things, they can be processes. Oh and my the invention God, you just was told... glass blowing. I mean, hey, uh... glass was all molded and it was very difficult and expensive to make. And once they learned to blow it, it became... I think her and Carl are one and the same. She's just... I think that, huh? or she's yeah. listening to Carl listening to Carl, because that was exactly, exactly yeah. the same thing he said. Inventions don't have to be things they can be oh. <laughs> process processes right? but he said it exactly like that he almost used that same voice <laughs> are you they saying they're it. colluding have you seen them for in the questions? same room together <laughs> for, question, for question six i did give you a hint because i wanted to make it clear that oh. it's what they call that furnace right and i know one team got it because i heard them they call it the glory hall Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, we didn't, didn't get that one for some reason. No, no <laughs> Thank you, Bob. My tours. Yeah. Bob knew that one? Trust, Wait, trust. The, the, the uh, theme for tonight is trust in Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and question seven, I was surprised more people had trouble with this one. They, it's, they call it paste. Yay. The paste jewelry, right? Because yeah. the way they mix it. Okay. And the smooth glass, they put it on on tin because tin oh. melts as the glass is cooling and it makes it totally smooth. And that's a process hmm. that is used today and was only invented in the 1950s. Hmm. So and they also use tin. lead. Oh, that's what I wrote. Not really. No, um, they they use lead in the glass, but not. this process no, they melt no, it on top. No, just, so just they use they use lead instead of tin sometimes. Oh really? Well, that's yep. one of the I, things I, I, I thought I remember them saying that Murano. Yep. Really? Because yeah, floated glass is always on tin. That's the definition really? of float glass on tin. Except when it, except when it isn't. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, and all of the people, all the major companies yeah. do it do it on tin. Oh, it's and safer. It's not safe. No, well, it's always yeah, been. That wouldn't be green. And question nine, the answer is E. They're yeah, all real. Be. I couldn't think of yeah. one that, that I could prove wasn't real. So I use them all. Those are actually the words they use. And that's exactly what they do. And question 10, I was fascinated by when I learned that one. Um, leaded glass is actually an amorphous solid, actually, so is stained glass and glass in general. But it's prized for its clarity when it's leaded, and it's commonly known as crystal. Yeah. Yet it's not a crystal, it's an amorphous solid. So it's totally wrong chemically. So crystal glass is not a crystal. But it is okay. the correct answer. So crystal is the correct answer, yes. Crystal. Okay, the, the two bonus questions, the, the show and Someone said when we first came back, well, did I know a lot about glass? I didn't. I watched the series and I recommend it highly for entertainment purposes. It is there are three seasons of it and it's really excellent. And it's called the title of it is Blown Away. Um, <laughs> yeah, close. And the last question: What do they call it? They what they call it? They have to when they finish in a baking show, they bring it out and right away and they judge it. They can't do that with glass because the different pieces will cool at different rates and it will often crack. So they put it in a an oven that slowly Good. cools it oh. and it's an annealer or annealer. Oh, okay.
So they can't judge it until it's cooled off completely, which is hours later. Huh. Yeah. Bigger ones take longer. Okay. Very good. Very, very so, good. So are, are you allowing lead for number eight? No. Shouldn't. Because it is what the Wikipedia article says. But it's not what she said. It's yeah. Not, yeah it's, it's not the it's one not. That, that was, it's not the one that's been used in the company that invented that process and is doing it and does most of the glass in America. I don't know about other countries. But I could not find anyone who said anything but pen. If you can find something that says something other than pen. Take, take a look in the, in the, uh, uh, the, yeah. the first thing mentioned in the Wikipedia article. Read it, read it. Well, that, maybe that needs editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so flow, flow class you can't is trust Wikipedia. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Flow class is traditionally 10 oxide. You get a layer of 10 oxide, one surface of flow class. And I've shot, actually I've shot corning and shot glass to develop the processes. And in Jena, Germany, um, tin has been used for centuries. It's a, it's a traditional tin-based process. So it's been tin. Yeah. So. And they call it flow class, yeah. Yeah. Flow flow class. Floating. That's how it um, stays. And that makes it flat and non-bubbled. And those are the two things that make a window the way you want it to be. You don't want bubbles and you want it to be perfectly flat. Yes. Yeah, so Very good. And we have Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, uh, Karen. Well, we'll know in a minute. Let's see who screws up their answers. <laughs> All right. So let's go for our scores tonight. Let's see how they did. The devil's haircut. How did you do? Thanks to the bonuses, we got a 10. Uh, whoa. Where are all the hats going? Also, thanks to the bonuses, we got a 10 as well. <laughs> what? I thought these would be hard. They would have been if I was trying to do it by myself. The empty folders. That's three, right? Yeah, uh, we got an eight. Yeah. Okay, the special master debaters. Rob, what do we get? Oh, if we're not going to count Fred, then it's seven. Seven. We're really going to miss Freddie Mercury. And so, so the Wikipedia page does say lead, but it says in the past, and the citation there is a bad 404 error. So someone has to fix that. Let's so see. that means the special masturbators get Karen. Yay! So why are you guys complaining? Exactly because if planning. you had gotten that yeah, point, exactly you wouldn't get planning. Karen. Thank you. So special, special, perfect special planning. what? You're the special masturbators. <laughs> That's my kind of people. Master <laughs> debaters. You know. You know. It. <laughs> Good job. Good job there, Gail. You added those bonuses in there and saved a lot of people. I was afraid that some of those were pretty, pretty obscure. So. Well, you averaged a nine. So if you hadn't had the bonuses, you probably would have averaged a seven. So very good. Okay, here we go. Great job. I am going to make the next person. Who do we decide is going to be next? Rob? Or are we going to make it? I'm in team two. I thought we were I think it's Ben. One. Isn't Ben doing it tonight? What? No. Oh, what? Does Ben know this? What? <laughs> what? Where is Ben? <laughs> he's right there going, what? <laughs> All right, Robert. Ben looks like he's frozen, actually. I don't know. No, I'm he's just, just holding very I'm just, oh. I'm just ignoring Susan. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Totally. Is that how you do it? A good yeah. plan. Okay, so the category, and I have done this before, so this is called More, More Superhero Secret Identities, DC oh, and yeah. MCU. And I probably just killed my team, unless yeah. I'm good at this. So, <laughs> number one. Yay, Rob. <sighs> Thanks. Arlene <laughs> Francis Quinzel. So the point here is for each character's <laughs> public name, give their secret identity. All right, number two. Wait, we're supposed to give them the, is number one her? For each that's their character's name. public name, which I'm giving you, give their secret identity. So that's her Clark Kent. Basically. That is correct. Okay. All right, number two, John Johns. Number three, J. 
Janet Van Dyke. Van Dyne. Van Dyne, sorry. This character has had at least two names, uh, Kara Orlinder Danvers. Number five is Matt Murdock. Number six is Natalia Romanoff. Bruce Wayne. Number seven, somebody mute Susan, is Oliver Queen. <laughs> number eight is sue storm yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> just because you're the host doesn't mean you get to skirt the rules susan if everyone else Appar has to be muted apparently you she's too. above the law uh nine is wade wilson try and ban me mortal number number 10 <laughs> is wanda maximoff oh it's come on that's not a real president name. does it and that's it. Whose name any is questions? Wanda Maxwell? Be any Go to your rooms. <laughs> Should be a fast one. You're going to know it or you're not going to know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Maybe these are we'll, figure outable. We'll just stay here. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure outable. <laughs> Let me put Karen on the masturbators. Um, that's number two, right? There you go. There you go, Karen. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm going there, too. <laughs> Hello, special masturbators. Hi, Wanda has a TV show, and I can't remember her name. Do you remember? Karen, it? Karen knows them all. No way, I don't know superheroes. I know two of them. All oh, women. You know it is yeah. all women. You know, Wanda. Let's talk about the men now. Karen, I, I like you more for it, really. What was Wanda's name? Wanda. Fish. Her name is Fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ke Karen, which ones do you know? She has a whole set. Uh, Invisible Woman and uh, Black Widow. Which, okay, one, so which are who? Oh, Susan Storm. Is, is? Like Indivisible Woman. Indivisible? In Invisible. In She's, is she prime or something? <laughs> and uh, and Romanoff. Black is Widow. Black Widow. But you knew that. Oh. If I know it, everybody knows it. Karen, I none of us, I don't think, knew that. I have a guess for the Harleen because it sounds like Harlequin. And isn't there a Harlequin? Yeah, comic there's book? a Harlequin. Yeah. Can we but use Harlequin? Harlequin is a woman, that? is a man. No. No. Yeah. Harlequin no. is a man. No, well, not the classic, the classic Harlequin is in is a man, but in superheroes, Harlequin is a woman. Why? Well, it's I don't know why. because of, there's basically Harlequin. a 50 50 chance of one. No, of the no, because there's a Harlequin and then there is his his mate and it's a female and it's called. I'm, I'm channeling my in, interior Hercule oh. Poirot because there was a whole Hercule Poirot that I've seen about a thousand times called the Victory Ball. It has everybody dresses up as one of the characters. But, but we're talking superheroes, Susan. Superheroes. Oh, but so Comic Harley books. Quinn is one of the characters, and Harley Quinn has a comic books. Has that a, would that would not have been in Hercule Poirot because he came about long before. So so comic so, books. I can't think of her name. Well, okay, mood point. So Janella. Well, we have Catwoman, and there's uh, Shira. And I, and I know <laughs> Wanda. Wanda is, I just can't, Wanda freezes thing. Wanda is a superhero. Oh, from, oh, from Frozen. Yeah. No, no, really? No, no, no. no. <laughs> she's, she's got I thought, I thought Wanda was the Black Widow. Isn't no. she from? Um, That's the Romanoff lady. Natasha oh, Romanoff. Nat Natalia is the Black Widow. Natalia. Yeah. I thought it was Anna, and her sister's name is. This isn't about Frozen. This is about Marvel. Yeah, Wanda. I yeah. thought it was marvelous. I Not Wanda. marvelous, Marvel. The amazing Miss Marvel. <laughs> no, like Spider Man, Superman, X Men, all that kind of garbage. Oh boy. <laughs> I the think wordle? That Janet Van Dyne was from X Men. Is that right? Does that sound good? Sure, but we know what. What's the character? Good lord. 
Uh, the only woman in X Men I remember was like named Storm or something, didn't oh, she? Oh, there's a things? storm. There's a storm, but this one has like white on her face, on her hair. This one's the doctor that kind of heals people, and she also has a super. Oh, Doctor Gray, power. Jane Gray. There's Maybe a Jane I'm Gray and, with Wolverine, and she's yeah. Jane Gray, like one of the. Queens. Oh, okay. If she doesn't have a superhero identity. Yeah, I'm sure she she does something. Okay, so it's not Janet. Um, so the stormy one. Sue Storm, could that be one of the Tempest or? Oh. She's the invisible woman. Sue Storm's the invisible woman. She's oh, we already have her. Woman. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Some of these names are so bad. Wanda Maximoff. We don't know who she Wanda married, is. She married the guy who looks uh, like he's made of metal. Oh. Oh, you mean in the, like the TV series they just yeah. had a little while ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that? That was so good. It was good. Psychon, psychop, psychop no, guys. Psych that's a, no, no, it was I? just it was just called Wanda World. I thought it was Wanda Vision. But what was oh, Vision? What was her identity? I can't remember. She can create. She was very powerful. She could create worlds. Like she could create. Sometimes this the, the background to where she was living with her husband was from the Dick Van Dyke show. Sometimes it was Bewitched. How funny. Created, and I can't remember though what her superhero name was. Darn it. Are you doing as Amy? bad as I, as I feared you yes. were? Yes. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Karen came up with the indivisible woman. You know, <laughs> the what? You know, <laughs> She's all prime, all time. We can't remember, Rob. Oh, my gosh. Can't, I can't remember Wanda's superhero name. So, and I it, so. Is one of these Wonder Woman? Pro oh, that's uh, maybe number four. Linda Danvers? Yeah. No. Well, it's better than the zero we have. Okay. I say put Catwoman for everything. Well, that's another strategy. Just Wonder Woman down the line. How about Spider Woman? It won't work for Matt Murdock, though. Bat Girl? Sp spider Girl? John Johns. I've never heard of John Johns. It looks like it should be Jones. I've only found two so far. Oh. <laughs> John Jones. OK, there's, no, there's several women on here. So what yeah. about um, so, um, um, Poison Ivy? Arlene uh, Francis Quinzel. Po uh, Poison Ivy, Storm, Wonder Woman, um, Captain uh, America. John Johns. There's a woman, Captain America. Janet Van Dyne. Just stick something there for the woman. Kara name. or Linda Cat Danvers. Woman. She's not, is she a superhero? She's Can't a girl. girl. Was Wanda Wonder Woman? No. Okay. Too Russian. Rob. Sorry, Rob. Okay, so is Catwoman he knows better? A, is Catwoman a superhero or a villain? She's a super villain. <laughs> yeah. A hero. This says superheroes. I think so, she does both. So, uh, so female female superheroes. Um, um, poison, well, poison Ivy. No, that's not a hero. Wonder Woman. Um, Captain America was a woman, but I don't oh, know her name. What? Recently. What? Storm. That's three women superheroes. What about Supergirl? Supergirl. Yay. That girl. Yeah, yeah. Put put those there, Peggy. Put those Where? To anywhere. <laughs> Under any girl name, female yeah. name. Okay. Look at Rob. He's gonna cry. Rob, you did this. You did yeah, this. Rob. Rob. <laughs> no one feels sorry for you. <laughs> This was foolish. It was bad judgment. He knows better, you guys. Hey, you yeah, all the Okay, they hold on, hold on. Categories for Leonard and for Carl. I, I swear, never, I never has but, well, Leonard will like this it's category. Oh, Carl will like this category. It's, it's so Susan's good, fault for Harley. making up the team this way. Every other team wait. has a ringer on. Deborah. Okay. Every, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. So wait. For number one, Kyle. Kyle went down the list. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay, so I have some I have some intel from, from someone who actually watches one. this stuff. Oh, wait, wait, her yeah. son's Harley there. Quinn. Harley Quinn, yes. Harley Quinn. Yes, yes. So we have. Harley well, duh. 
I thought that one was well, obvious. Rob, we didn't know that. Thank you very much. Harley Quinn is a man. Just hush. Okay, not Harley Quinn, though. Okay. I love okay. Susan, Never, but ignore please, her. Please be loud and take over. Ignore okay. Susan. Aaron, go ahead. Harley Quinn. Yes. Karen, got number one. Right, take eight. So I don't know two, in case you didn't know two or three, uh, four he said was Captain Marvel for the Dan the Danvers one. Okay. Uh, five he said was Daredevil. Cool. Um, we, uh, six was Black Widow. We knew that. Yeah, we knew that. Um, I didn't ask him. Hey, Case, what about Oliver Queen? Who? Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen. Yeah. No, I didn't know that one. Uh, Sue Storm. Put the we, ambiguously we had... gay superhero from Saturday <laughs> Night Live. Nine yeah. is nine is Deadpool. Ah. Deadpool is a oh is that a guy. person. Yeah, I, that's what I said, but he said yeah. Deadpool's a person. I guess. And then ten is Scarlet Witch. What? Who the hell Scarlet Witch? Who the hell knows? <laughs> Oh. Well done, son <laughs> of Deborah. Well done. So we, have, we have some maybe, right? Thank you, that Casey. Is, that is not. I love your puppet, Susan. Oh, yeah. I've tried it out. I've had it for a while. It's not a puppet. Is it's that your not... emotional support animal? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Put Wonder Woman somewhere, Captain America somewhere. Super okay. somewhere. Wonder Woman for Janet Van Dyne. Okay, that sounds good. good. John Jones can be. Um, I, I I don't even have enough knowledge of these. Okay, idiot. It, it doesn't matter. Put put the women's names. Put Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and. Um, okay. Okay. So the last two are guys. I think. I think John. Well, yeah, John Jones could be anything. Don't have any more women. Um, John Jones. Okay. What could that put, be? Um, put um. Put um. laptop. Put Green Flash. Green, Green Flash, Flash for two. Anywhere. Green How about the Green Dragon? To think of superheroes. <laughs> Oliver okay. Queen. Two is going to be Green Flash, and then we okay. need something for Oliver Queen. That seems like it would kind of have a name that would sort of go along with their regular yeah, name. Ambiguously gay. Great superheroes. job, team. That was fun. Okay, I think my, I, I screwed my team royally is what I understand. Okay. <laughs> better because Casey what, what, what? on us and team. <laughs> Say that again? We had somebody in the house that might have known some of them. Oh. oh. But we'll have to find out if they're right because I have no idea. Okay, well, then. Well, I wouldn't have known any. Here we go. Can you see that? Oh, yep. boy. Yes. Okay. Lovely. So. Very odd. Patriotic looking, even. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, number one, Harley yeah. Quinn. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. believe people are struggling with Harleen Francis Quinzel there. Harley Quinn is a guy. Rob, Rob, you have to know in the first place that there exists a superhero named Harley Quinn. Uh, okay. I don't think you have to know it, though. Number two, this was one of the harder ones Martian Manhunter. Never heard of them. Brother. Uh, I wouldn't have known it had I not watched Supergirl. Yeah, that's where I saw it. Third one, people struggled with this. I wonder if I got it. I left and some people was the only one they didn't have. This is the oh, last. Okay. Next one is Supergirl. Oh no. People got this wrong. Carol Danvers is the one who was Captain. Yes, who Marvel. is uh, Captain okay. Marvel. Got it. Yes. All right. This is Supergirl. Yep. Daredevil is Matt Murdock. Okay, got that one. The man without fear. Uh, Romero is what happened to Romero. Why is he out? He just got bumped. He's come back in. He's back. Um, next one is Natalia Romanoff is the Black Widow. No, right. Uh, no. People were struggling with Oliver Queen, even uh, I don't know, but that's Green Arrow. Yep. Oh, okay. Sue Storm is part of Fantastic Four as the Invisible Woman. Uh -huh. Would you accept Invisible Girl, her original superhero name? I don't know. Would she accept that? So people don't like Girl. <laughs> <laughs> they made a big deal about that in the Supergirl series, too. Is Girl really appropriate? Yeah. Um, nine is Deadpool. Wade hey. Wilson. Yep. Yay. Deborah's kid. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I actually and saw this. Such a loving guy. A little heart there. Look at that little heart. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. And Aww. the la last but not least is the Scarlet Witch, Wanda yep. hey, Maximoff, who had her is. own series. Yes. 
She shouldn't be called a witch. So oh, that guy wasn't Spider Man. <laughs> what? That guy? No. That guy yeah. looks like Spider Man. Well, except <laughs> Spider Man no. doesn't carry batons that he smacks people in the head with. Well, and and, and <laughs> don't sure. get Those are swords. Yeah. yeah. Don't get the wrong idea because he looks so nice uh, yeah. and yeah. want to yeah. go watch the movie because it's yeah. uh, very bloody and violent and he, he likes to say all, all kinds of terrible things. There was no danger that I would ever go see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Deadpool. Um, Deadpool was fun. I know yeah. we don't have a lot of rules. We don't have a lot of rules around here. I would like to suggest a new one that the person leading the round does not is not allowed to say the to anybody. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of like that. <laughs> Thank you. Harleen Quinzel. I don't know who that could be. Well, we've never heard of Harlequin. Quinn. Harlequin Quinn is a guy. Right. Oh, uh, how many times yeah. I gotta tell you this? Caspian go back here. Caspian. Casey said it was a romance Casey novel. said it was a Joker's girlfriend. Yeah. Yes, yes that is correct. And, and the answers are in the chair. Joker girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he probably Caspian. wasn't very consistent and, with any of that. And, and she appeared in the animated series, Batman the animated series. Originally. Oh, yes. was taken yes. into the mainstream. Yeah, it's amazing. Everybody Curly saw that. Has yeah. her own animated series on oh, yeah. HBO Max. Yep. And, I need to watch that. I've heard good things about when it. When do you it's... people have time to watch all this stuff? And I don't know. She was in her own, to be she had her own movie. And, and the, the year, the right. year. When they're not following the um, uh, politics, all the, all the silly trials that people put. Seriously. Yeah. So much. They're all the spending year, their time on Wordle. How do you have time for the this? year the Suicide Squad came out? Like, Wordle and, takes and, five and when, minutes. When, when Halloween happened, like Holly, uh, Halloween happened, every, like, every little girl was dressed like Harley Quinn. Yeah. Uh, Did you mean oh, Suicide Squad or different. the Suicide Squad? Which movie are you talking about? A, a slutty Harley Quinn. So, the first one. Okay, we're up for scores now. So, Rob's <laughs> team, oh, the special masturbators, um, would you get? <laughs> we well, Rob screwed us bad. We got six, yeah. That's pretty damn good. Well, I that, that's better than when I left. I thought you were going to get like one. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Wow. We're I would have had zero. We, ha we had to hire an expert. We did. <laughs> <laughs> nah. so who, who, who was it? Who was the expert? My Her son. son. Oh. <laughs> he actually watches this stuff. See, that's really sad that it had, took a guy. I know, right? <laughs> that's really sad. Okay. But we so had fun anyway. It just shows you that the, these shows are made for men. Yeah. The empty folders. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would argue Supergirl your enthusiasm is just overwhelming. Where are all the hats going, Ken? Oh, Lord. Right? They're going to leave it there if you don't. <laughs> Jane, Jane, <laughs> Leonard, and Sarah, what's your score? 10. 10. All Let's right. The devil's haircut, 10. No, a nine, actually. <gasps> Which one did you oh, miss? I heard you the went down the road. Oh, uh, okay. okay. 10. And then the Mercury people. 10. 10. 10. Wow. Does it really quiet, like 10. Like, don't be embarrassed. Rob, have you learned anything? Have you learned anything tonight? I, I've learned that, that Susan purposely shuffles the team. So whenever I go, no one who knows what I know is on my team. That's what it is. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know don't is on your don't team. lose hope. Don't Every lose other hope. team had a ringer and just not my team. So I didn't know you were going to do a category on like superheroes, real names or whatever. What? He's done one I before. That. I thought it was going to yeah. be prison, prison stuff or, yeah. or something. It's the opposite of Kevin's idea to have now, going the category. other way on that category, Rob, would have yeah, been a how, lot harder. Oh, yeah, coming up with their real names. That's, 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 that's what you guys said the last time. I didn't want to put you through that, though. Yeah, thank you. Come on, Rob. How would I have Please, known? Come on, I Ro might have Rob. We need, a, we need a master you. level round from you, and you can go the other direction. Rob, oh. I gave you ringers, they're just not for that category, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'd like to take a picture. So don't lose hope, everyone. If the next category has anything to do with female anatomy, <laughs> we're going to take it. <laughs> or knitting. <laughs> knitting. Oh, boy. Okay. Everybody look at the camera. Make a nice smile. Oh, that's right. A it's smile for the time, queen. <laughs> a smile fit for the queen? It should be sad for the queen. I got it. I should have worn my crown. I have a crown somewhere. 
I wore it on a I wore it Why? on a flight somewhere, and I got the most attention from the flight attendants. They loved it, and it wasn't <laughs> even my birthday. <laughs> yeah, they were probably trying to make sure you weren't a security risk or anything. It was years ago, like ten years ago. You get your picture a long time ago. Well, I I didn't have my ear things on. Well, you look great. Cats. You look magnificent. Wait till you All see. Right. Yeah. Break time. Break time. Well, we're going to talk about you if you go. <laughs> talk all you want. But it's talk. okay because it's because it's being recorded. Yeah, oh, he can hear oh look at Jane. Look at Jane. I Jane, Jane. The, the, nice. the Jane from California. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's adorable. I have a crown. <laughs> I got a crown because I had the same birthday as Queen Elizabeth. Right. But yeah. I complain Hi, because yeah. she got two good birds. Vincent's Everybody tired of being recorded. One. I guess. Oh. Good night. Oh, bye, Terry. Bye. You shared the Queen's bye, birthday, Terry. huh? Bye. So she yes. now, now it's all yours, huh, Janine? No. Now, so now, I, now I have it to myself. Finally, I lived her. She's off. About time. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at Bob's chair. I think he's going to be in a, uh, it looks like something would go in like a um, space shuttle or something. Either that or a haunted house. Oh, yeah, it could be a spider thing. Okay, so I put the picture up. You guys go look how wonderful you look. What is that expression on Cass's face? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm looking at your faces now. Oh. Oh, that's funny. That's not mean at all. Yeah. You're looking at your faces and laughing. Well, you never know how long you need to hold it because uh, Susan's really bad at telling you when she actually got the picture, like, snapped. <laughs> like, wait, did she click the button or not yet? All my life, that was what I did is I'd say, okay, here we go. One, two, three. Then I do that. And now I'm like, <laughs> I'm out of it. The chickens, the chickens got me. Okay. Romero is apparently giving us the finger. <gasps> How dare you? But it's all right. It's an index finger. <laughs> oh, okay. Four that, minutes. That's, that's the safe finger. Depending upon what you do with it, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't have a crown, but I do have a new hat. Oh. It's a, it's a baseball hat. It's got four words on it. The first and second are Make America, and the last uh, is again. Uh, it's blue, not red. Is it grape? No, it's think. Oh, Make yes. America think again. I like it. I, I saw it on someone, I saw something about it somewhere and went, I got to get me one of those. So I got me one of those. Cool. I was a little reluctant because there's not much evidence that America actually <laughs> ever thought. But it's better than make America smart again, <laughs> which definitely implies something that was never true. <laughs> Have you seen that Curb Your Enthusiasm where Larry, the main character where he discovered that if he wears a MAGA hat uh. he can go places and people will avoid him and leave him alone so he can <laughs> sit in peace and not be bothered because no one will want to talk with him. Um, depending on where you live, yeah, that, that might happen. Some places wearing that hat will get you uh, absorbed into every discussion. In some cases, it'll get you ignored. And in some cases, it'll get you beaten up. <laughs> so, well, Larry lives in ready. California. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, there's, there's lots of different kinds of California. He lives in the L.A. area. Yeah. There's lots and of things perfect. around there that are different. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to think that our side wouldn't beat someone up with a cat, but of course. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that too, but I'd like reality to is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Reality is a problem. Okay, speaking of superhero secret identities, I 
shared this with my team, but I want to. Does anyone know the secret identity of the flaming carrot? <laughs> right, there he is. Carrot you can see in the back, this is the mystery. You remember the movie, The Mystery Men from a few years ago? Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh. There's, you can see Mr. Furious back there and the shoveler. The that shoveler. Was good, no, that was an excellent. <laughs> Shoveled extremely well. I that love that movie. movie. Was that it? was so fun. Okay. So those, okay. Well Mike. Okay. Yeah. I thought of Mystery Men. I didn't know there was any connection. You remember the audition scene? Wasn't yeah. there like a father and son dressed as carrots or, or pencils was, or something? I think there was a Waffle Man. I don't waffle know. The waffle man. I remember did that. Waffle man. Played by Dane Cook. Yeah. The Mystery Men originally appeared in Flaming Carrot Comics, but he, Flaming Carrot was not in the Mystery Men movie. But... Um, Okay, but th when they had the auditions, there was this tall guy. That was Doug Jones. Yeah, I think he oh, was Doug Jones. Who, who guy, isn't right? Doug Jones? Yeah. Oh, he's everywhere. Yeah, but I think yeah, Doug Jones is every everywhere. tall skinny. Uh, we we yeah. need a tall skinny guy that we're going to put a whole <laughs> right. bunch of prosthetics on. Okay, call but Doug Jones. I think this was very early in his career, though. Yeah, I think it might have been his first credit or one of his very and, early and pretty much any. Guillermo del Toro. Oh, Guillermo, gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're Guillermo they're gonna use him. Yeah. He's the guy yeah. who had the eyeballs in his hands. Yeah. Well, he was the fish guy in Hellboy. As well as was... in the newer one. Yeah, uh, the Shape of Water. The, yeah, the Shape was of he... Water, which yeah. essentially seemed like it was the same character from Hellboy. But was yeah. that Joe Jones also? Movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he's on yeah, one he of those played... new tar he's on one of the new Star Trek series. He's, uh, he's Star Trek Discovery as Saru. The really tall yeah. guy with all the prosthetics on, and he yeah. was the Silver Surfer in one of the recent Fantastic yes. Four movies. And yeah, so, he, yeah. The, the Baron the, in What We Do in the Shadows. Yep. So he yeah. was the visual for it, but uh, who did the voice of the Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four too? Yeah, <laughs> that was Ken's Lawrence. Labyrinth that was Lawrence Fishburne. Characters. Whoever Lawrence has Fishburne's control, voice. whoever has control over the meeting, can you let me in the room with my computer? I'm going to shut up this cell phone. Oh, okay. Thank you. Five dollars. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the next category, so maybe oh. you have to pay me. All right, we'll give you a pass. Susan's going to start Thank charging you. people. Five dollar entry fee. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out something and that's bugging Five dollars per year? Flaming Carrot is the only superhero whose secret identity is actually a secret. He has a secret identity, but the creator has not shared that with the public. I say it's Conan O'Brien. Uh, no. Oh, okay. That was my guess. Carrot Top, the comedian. That's no. who I was thinking it was. Oh, and uh, for those of you who love uh, Hocus Pocus, uh, Doug Jones was the the guy, Billy. The Oh, Billy, the, the, the corpse. Yeah, the, yeah, the corpse who had to cut yeah. his uh, sewn mouth. Oh, yeah, the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was Doug Jones too. I thought yeah, he was like a senator. What? He's been in. That's my son and my wife and my family. <clears throat> my son <throat> was my son was promoted today to first lieutenant. Oh, awesome. nice! Very good. Congratulations. He's a chemical dragon. Oh, that means he's he's the guy you're going to see on TV if they talk about chemical warfare in in South Korea. Ooh, he'll be on TV. <laughs> Advising wow, somebody is people. really sneezy. He's a smart kid. <laughs> You're completely <laughs> unbiased on that, right, Kevin? Yeah, because because yeah. he graduated he at the top of his class and right. Dean's List <laughs> microbiologist chemistry degree. Sounds like you have <laughs> more uh, more evidence to back that up than my completely. Um, objective view that my grandkids are cute. <laughs> he was a cute kid too. Cute. Well, no, we've never seen. Him. I've showed you pictures. No, oh, man, what you doing? Yes. Well, next next time I see you, I'll show you pictures. I have a folder on my iPhone of called grandkids with okay. pictures of the grandkids. I am not spelling this name right. This Harlequin character. Right. How do you spell Harlequin? Not it's the, it's no. two it's two words. Harley yeah. no, no, Harley wait. Quinn. 
Hardly like the motorcycle. He had it on the screen. I put all the answers in the chat. Did you not yeah. see that? H A R L E Y, Harley. Second word, Quinn, Q U I N N. The first answer in But Rob's... you're not spelling it right. That's not how it's spelled. That's well, that's how, how it's her spelled. name is spelled. It's spelled it's a, different ways. It's a pun. What is her superpower? She's crazy. crazy. She's funny yeah. spelling. She's, She's a hot like, badass. Okay, with a no, here's how you spell it H A R L E Q U I N. No, because that's that's that's, it's, how you that's the romance that's, novels. No, that's right. yeah, no, that's different. That's the Commedia dell'arte character. Mm -hmm. yeah, not the name of the character. Yeah, that's not that's not the answer to Rob's character. question. I was talking about the other mm -hmm. Harlequin. The Harlequin from yeah, the from the this uh, romance novels. Commedia no, dell'arte. Oh, they're, they're, they're the same Harlequin. You guys aren't following me. We're on different. Are, we're in different. You, you need to lead us better, better, Susan. I will figure it out later. Okay, so let's go to our. our <clears throat> you had uh, Pantalone our and Columbine and. Yes. Carol. Yes. Yes. And Harlequin. Right? They're Those, from yeah. Demet Comedian. Yes, yeah, Quinn. It's called Harley Quinn, but she does dress up in the ha Harlequin garb you're talking about. It's a play on words. She, she, I'm saying that yes. the old one. The those are the originals, and you guys are talking as if there's some. This is like something. It's new. Doesn't mean it's correct. Well, it's, it's a new. play on. Yeah, it's a reference. It's a play back on words. The, she she dresses in the Harlequin style, like with the little Joker hat, the white and black yeah. red or black right. face. So Harlequin right. was another was a was an actor. Yes, and there you, there were bats and Harlequin, before, Harlequin is a word that, that doesn't has a meaning Batman. before there was a superhero. Just like yeah, the wasp. There was the bug, the wasp, before there was the superhero, <laughs> the wasp. You guys aren't getting it. Even if I was psychic, I could Italian not have predicted character. this conversation. <laughs> Things can have more than one meaning. We're having this conversation ah. and we don't understand it. <laughs> Is the baby. Is that lieutenant. No. Aww. Aww. He's the lieutenant. He's already saluting. He's saluting. There's also Harlequin syndrome. You know that, right? Harlequin babies. Mm -hmm. Very very bad. Also a, a, a publishing company that publishes yes. romance novels. Yes, we've made that clear. That's right. No one's ever heard of that, Mike. Do you know who else was in Commedia dell'arte? Punchinello, which was was the original. Punchinello, the Punchinello. Punch. Punch and Judy. No, 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 oh, no. Was was from Punchinello. When are we going to get some more Punch and Judy questions around Columbine, here? Columbine. Uh, We're working on is over. All right, is Carl back so he can rescue us from this conversation? He's back. All right, Carl, you're up. What? I'm not up. Not up. I'm up. No, I want to ask him what is new in the data oh, never mind. podcast. That's Kyle. Oh, people's... Isn't that what I said? You said no. Carl. You said Carl. You didn't specify. My secret identity yes. apparently is Kyle. This yes. this this is being with recorded. We can Kyle we can with a check. K. Oh my God. You guys are funny. Podcast announcements. <laughs> so well, Kyle. Week, yeah. Thank you. This week on Data Skeptic, we've got an episode called Fairness in e commerce search. Uh, following up on more Amazon stuff, I talked to a researcher who looks into under what circumstances does Amazon promote their own brands under others. So we get to some of the interesting details on that. That's it this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. So, Robert, you have some things that came out this week. Oh, I did. Let me put the link in the chat. So, yes, I interviewed uh, Nathan Lentz. He's going to be one of the speakers at SciComm. And it was a fascinating conversation about one of my favorite subjects, uh, uh, in ID, intelligent design versus evolution. And that was part of it anyway. And um, yeah, you might find it interesting. I, I, the link actually is to the SciComm uh, page within the Skeptical Inquirer. So the last 11 now are all of my interviews with all of the speakers. Enjoy. Yes, I haven't caught up yet, but that's- Including Susan. Susan's there. Susan, whoever she is. Um, I'm going to be speaking in Sacramento on the 8th, 8th of um, October. And that's all I've got. And I'm, and I'm getting an award at the Free Thought Day 
in Sacramento, which is why I'm going to be in Sacramento. We're putting together a talk, so I'll be there. This thing. Anyway. Anyway. Anything else? Adrian's almost done with the haunt, uh, the Winchester Mystery House page. You guys are going to be amazed by this thing. It was full of just the most amazing nonsense. Oh, yeah, the Winchester. <laughs> oh my house. gosh! And Sarah Winchester's page also just nonsense. So yeah. she's doing it. It's having its one hundredth anniversary. Or wait, Sarah Winchester oh, died in nineteen twenty-two. She will. It'll be a hundred years since her death. And I think the Winchester Mr. House is having an anniversary of some sort, too. So it's going to be a big deal. So it's amazing. Anyway, we've been yeah. working on this thing for... She's been working on it for months, and her and I have been going back and forth for weeks. Or at least and, and how many people <laughs> that, uh, that thought the old stories were real are going to uh, give you shit about it? Oh, we'll find out. But <laughs> everything you know about her that you thought you knew and the Winchester Mystery House is wrong. So... That should be interesting. Including the address? Everything. <laughs> unless the things Hi, you Deborah. learned. Gosh, unless the things you learned were from, uh, what's his name? Brian Dunning. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We okay, have so Brian Dunning speaking for us on oh. Sunday, this coming Sunday, for our, our annual meeting. And he'll be showing his movie, Science Fiction. Nice. Is he going to be there in person? Yep, he's coming in person and showing his movie and talking about it. Oh, he's such a cool... In cool Portland, guy. for anybody who's going to be in Portland on the 11th, 5 <laughs> o'clock at the Lucky Lab Pub on Quimby. Oh, I like the Lucky and Lab Pub. And there's free pizza. And I'm not sure anybody's going to show up, but we'll see. <laughs> what we might be we might all be taking home pizza a lot of pizza i don't know jane brings some extra containers so you can take some home i can but john's on it. It. yeah john's on a zero salt diet so pizza for him. get it uh i'd be there in a heartbeat if i was there but there's a distance you can come day. Oh, Adrian. Adrian. Hi. What's new oh. on the skeptic zone? Oh. Um he didn't tell me. Well, you recorded it. Well, yeah, I I recorded the newsletter. And the newsletter was really small this month or this week. Nothing's happening. Yeah, it's just kind of yeah, there's a few things mostly about the conference that's coming up in I think it's December 3rd and 4th. It's on a weekend and it, it is available online so we can go virtually. <laughs> oh, um, yeah so and that's in um i always say the name of the place wrong canberra canberra yeah the canberra. capital of uh, australia yeah it's in a library there it's kind of cool and i uh, they're gonna have some social events like dinners and stuff and you know hard to go virtually for that part so european uh, skeptic congress starts friday we have sent one of our people to the conference so oh that's good fun that's Pavel, our Czech Republic, our Czech editor. Well, I, I wouldn't mind saying that I'm just about to launch my new Wikipedia page and this one, oh my God, the amount of work. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Can anybody tell you, to, can anybody say what the Wikipedia page is? Wait, 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 vibrations. It's, it's, wait, it's coming to me. <laughs> it's coming to me. It's, you got it. I see a house. It starts with it, W. Um, I see guns. I see guns. I, think I see guns. Like and, and how? How? And strange, strange doors that open into shallow cabinets. No, I see ghosts. Ghosts and a woman who's crazy. <laughs> Named Sarah. Sally. Well, that's a, that's a form. That's a form of, of Sally. Yeah, Sarah, that's Sarah. So Adrian, they're well, not you informed can't, at you all. Can't get they things. didn't have a clue. You, 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 you can't get. Well, I feel know, Leonard would know and Rob would know. and Deborah. You can't get the different. The number, you, you, is the you can't get the distinction between <gasps> number 100 yeah she died 100 years ago on the 5th of september i suggest everybody read the wikipedia page when it comes out because i have a theory it will be definitely a category just saying <laughs> just saying heads up good warning good warning and what it what it also I will do well on 
what it told me as well, doing this and then looking at the Sarah Winchester Wikipedia page, it needs a complete overhaul as well. It's amazing yeah. the amount of misinformation that actually gets onto these pages. And the, the citations are, what were they like? www.psychicmedium.com. <laughs> Ghosthunters.com. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we're making some, we're saying that, oh, what was the one thing we read that uh, sh her will was 13 pages long and she signed it 13 times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're like, really? Mm -hmm. Somebody seen her will and they've got, and I tried copy. to find her will. I can't even find, and it's not in Mary Ignafo's book. And I, I tried to find the actual will. So I don't even know where they come up with this stuff. It's at Mar-a-Lago. Well, but Adrian, <laughs> I actually, Adrian, I heard there used to be a dairy farm right next to the property and they made cheese and all this stuff and they had leftovers. So look there because where there's a will, there's some uh, way. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. That's an idea. Is that a mom oh. joke? That must be a mom <laughs> joke. Yeah. I'm going to be. I'm going to be down for a couple minutes over there. <laughs> you put the chicken in your place, Bob. It's like it might like be chickens. registered at the court. If you really want to find it, it would be worth checking the courthouse. Yeah, I because I looked at um, the records of the area and yeah. courthouse. We have to pay for it? Santa Clara. Uh, Adrian, Maybe. come on. You're a skeptic. Of course you do. Um, <laughs> But it's, it's also hard to search. You may have to actually get somebody to go in. Right. And if you know any skeptics like around San Jose and they have to go in, they have to search the wills and or probate cases. Right. Leonard's there. I volunteer Leonard. Leonard. I'm not far away. That's true. That would be awesome. And we have it on recording now. Okay, great. Well, all okay. I agreed to was being near. No, but... I, just, I, just, I, just, I saw That's his getting in the car and driving over there. He can walk there. He'll take I, his bike. I'm no, surprised bike. That, that in with Mary Ignafo, she didn't do that. Maybe she it's did, not. but didn't. Maybe just found it to be not. Maybe she didn't know about the the rumor about the 13 signatures and the. Yeah. But it's, it's not that unusual to have a lot of signatures in a will. Well, if you have multiple pages, you sometimes you at least initial all of them. Yeah, I was going to say that at least initial them. So yeah, yeah. it was 100 years ago. <laughs> or last week. Well, that's all right. right, so we're back. So we're back. All right. What that, Susan? What have you got there? Well, we're back, Seattle. Uh, no, no, no. It's anyway, a very nice I'm no good at this. So we're back, and Kevin has volunteered to take Mike's spot tonight. Hey. <laughs> Susan, Susan, ventriloquism is very easy during COVID. You just do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> category is mystery category. Mystery category. Mystery. There is a theme. If you identify it, it will help you with the answers, but you don't get any credit. Only 10 questions. What a surprise, Kevin. Yep. <laughs> We've never heard of anything like this before. Oh, oh last time I did last time I did dogs and cats. So this is different for me. Yeah, this but those were strange. bonus categories. Those were bonus. Those were well, bonus. if I did that bonus tonight, you were going to get bears or pelicans or something you know okay. <laughs> in whale muting in three Please, two quicker. one the first hint question the bay city rollers had their the first number one song in the bicentennial year did you hear that the first the Bay City Rollers had the first number one song in the bicentennial year. Name it. The year or the song? Name the song. Okay. So you it's have to do it. It's through my head right now. I want to sing it out loud. I can't. Yeah, yeah you'll know. Monty Python's comedy sketch revolving around something that anyone who reads or hears it promptly dies. What is that something? Question number three. Every guitar playing kid learns the starting riff to the most famous song by the band Deep Purple. Name the song. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do well. 
Yo, well, you're in my team now. I know, but probably if I know it, everybody else knows this stuff. What animated character recently we heard in another question a couple weeks ago had a dog named Goliath? Number five. Not YMCA, but another village people hit. Name it. They had another one. <laughs> They had more than another one, but I just Ooh. want to know the one that fits the category. The Blank of Dancing was a hit for the band Reflex in 1983. Oh my gosh, I know this one. Shh. Don't give it away. I'm not going to give it away. I'm just saying I know it. We're almost the same age, so you should know some of this stuff. Well, it's it's not that I, I have not heard it. It's just it, some things retain. It's easy. This George Thorogood song features his friends, Jack, Jimmy, and Johnny. Name the song. That might be a little tough, but if you know their last names, you'll figure it out. Name the written test that an individual must pass before becoming licensed to practice law. Number nine is kind of long, but you geeks will get it. It's a Star Wars question. You geeks. The Star Wars character first appeared in The Phantom Menace. His primary role in episode one was to provide comic relief for the audience. He was met with overwhelming dislike from both critics and audiences and is recognized as one of the most hated characters in Star Wars in the history and in the history of film in general. Name that character. Erdogan. And number 10. Fill in the blanks to this Joe Cocker song and the lyrics are below. Seems I've got to have a change of scene. Every night I have the strangest dreams. Imprisoned by the way it could have been. Left here on my own or so it seems. I've got to leave before I start to scream. Won't someone lock the door and turn the key? Blank, blank, oh no. That's it. Go to your rooms. Well, fine. <laughs> get rid of this should be no questions because it's pretty easy oh for some people you're not supposed to say that rob has his head will explode rob if, rob if, has a hard time with my categories because if karen gets... wasn't on the team i'd get maybe two <laughs> karen no pressure karen karen will get it anybody my age will get it it's just that when you get to my age or our age we, you just don't retain stuff it's, Oh, I, look, I smoked who are a not... lot of weed during certain periods of my life. <laughs> okay, so I've got to put these people back in their team. So Faith and Romero are on five. Kevin, you are on. I can go into my oh, room. You can go to everyone. Kyle is on five. Oh, that's weird. The five ones went. And what are we going to do with Adrian? I can just hang He's going to go on the special master. Debaters. Ooh, the master. <laughs> On the special team, the one that wears the helmet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and rides the short bus. Ooh, okay. I'm going to three. Rhyme. Figures. But, figures you guys we, got, we got bar and jar for, for oh, eight goodness. and nine. Okay, so what do you guys want to know? All your answers that you know. Okay, so Saturday night, Saturday night. That's a Bay City Roller. Is that their that's their big hit? But was that the one from nineteen seventy six? Was that some? Yeah, on Saturday night, Saturday you think... night. Hey, that's pretty much the only Bay City Rollers hit. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's the only one I remember. Okay, so the, it's the name of the song, just Saturday sketch. night. Was yeah, it German? the funniest the joke German in the joke. world? It was German. Yeah. It's a joke. Written in no, German. No, it's an American. It was an American joke. They translated it into German. It's a joke, though. The Nazis. Yeah. And that. And so Hitler I guess had, all we really need is that it was a joke, probably. Probably. Yeah. It was the, the killing joke. And then the joke. next one is. Dun 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 dun. But the problem is, I don't know what the name of the song it's, is. Uh, smoke on the smoke water. On the water. Yeah, that's smoke right. Thank you. Water. Smoke on the water. Smoke on the water. 
Uh oh, I gotta go away, bug. And I don't remember the Goliath person. That was that was Davey. last week. I don't remember these things. Davy and Goliath. and Goliath. Oh, that's yeah. right. Davy. Instead of David. Davy. Okay, not YMCA, but the other village people had. What was it? I, I all I could think of is YMCA. Okay, maybe it'll make sense in a minute. And number six is politics. Politics of dancing. The yeah, politics yeah, yeah. of dancing. Jack, Jimmy, and Johnny. I drink alone, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was all the different drinks. Yeah. All oh, right, Johnny Jack Walker. Daniels, Johnny Walker. That's it, yeah. Yep. Uh, Jim Bean. Yep. So I do drink we have alone. The theme? Oh, I was too busy getting the. Uh, okay, so the next one's Bar. The next one's Jar Jar Binks. Uh, and the number home. five is in the Navy. Oh, oh yes, thank you. Because there's the Davy. Navy. He's still in Navy. That's right. I remember. Because he, in the Navy, and okay, Davy, who's still in the Navy, is one of the one of the patrons at the bar where Billy Joel is the. So these are all man. drink related things, right? It was smoke it was, joke. That's the Davey, that's the Davey, theme. Davey, Billy Joel's the piano man. Politics. Davey. I drink alone. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just it has hard jar. These are all these are all things that are. I don't know what Davy. What Davy? Feeling all right is number ten. Okay. You know he. That's one of the lyrics in the song. There, there's Davy who's still in the Navy and maybe he will be for life. Right. And probably will be for life. Yeah. Back to Nine start. o'clock on a Saturday. It's, yeah, uh, piano man. Yeah. yeah the old piano. crowd shuffles in. Tell me a joke while I light up your smoke. Yeah. Making love to my tonic and gin. Yep. Making love to my yeah. tonic and gin. Davy still in the Navy. So, so I think we're good. I think we got a ten, right? We we music, so jar. what is the theme? It's what? It's it's Piano Man from Billy Joel. Oh, all these no all these questions heard. reference the okay. lyrics of of Piano Man. Should have known it'd be Billy Joel. Five o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah, I don't think I've Saturday. ever heard the song. The regular oh, crowd right. shuffles in. Light up, yeah. Light up my. Tell me a joke while I light up my. While smoke. I light up my smoke. Talking to Davy is still in the Navy. And probably practicing, will be for life. Probably will for something. something yep. practicing, practicing politics. politics. And something about drinking alone. Better than drinking alone. I, I love your uh, pet, Susan. It's very nice. I got to figure out how to use it. I, I'm going to get on CNN someday. Okay. I know I'm going to get on CNN. They're going to call me. We, and I need we, to have... By the way... It's feeling apostrophe all right. All right. Yeah. I was wondering. I need to be able to have yeah, this ready right. so that when I'm on CNN, I can just kind of go like this. I'll be talking straight about something all, right. all of a sudden. Does that count? Like this. Yeah. Number 10 is feeling all right. Yeah. Are yeah, you just... going to learn to do a ventriloquist thing? It's That's a lot of work. But it's going to be I a know it's a lot of work. I you, tried to do it. Really? Put, it's going to take a long yes. time for me to and, get and my, plenty of time. My COVID, puppet COVID was my... Ventriloquism right here. Hey, this is uh, how you do it. My puppet was my dog. What? And so, Steens, I had my dog trained to sit there and open and close his mouth. What? That's crazy. <laughs> and we were we were doing a little act. We had a We had a little routine. I can't remember what the routine was like. Bob, you can uh, make your oh. uh, chickens talk. Oh, I no, said I have, to Steens a, uh, speak, and he puppet. would say to me, "What do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you want me to say?" <laughs> we go like this. This is, <laughs> this is Swifty, oh, look, the insult to... comic raptor. I like it. You even got the cigar going. That's awesome. Oh, that's yeah. great. Do it. You know how Triumphs would always fall out? He was constantly dropping his cigar. Yes. What'd you do? Well. So can we stop screen share so I can see Bob's puppet better? Oh, yeah, sure. We I got all right answers, now. Right? Since we got all the answers. There you go. What, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's a big one, Bob. 
Well, this is the <laughs> head. This Wait, is so... the head. This is the what you bought. It was a Jurassic Park thing, and then I added a fabric uh... body to it. Oh, nice! And That's smart. Made this this gold <laughs> the bow tie. Does he have a bow tie? tie. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. It's, yeah, because Triumph does have a bow tie. So yeah, did everyone watch the video? And his is really crappy. I did. It's all frayed. My wife did a really good job on it. Awesome. And then the we Star made this Wars cigar, one? which which yeah. stays in, but can be removed. So is it, is it if it he's indoors at a restaurant, he can't be smoking. So that's why, right? Oh, yeah. magnets. We're, oh, I was just going to say oh. that was going to be my second guess. Dang it. It's Neodin magnets. Neodymium little, little. Oh, yeah, dude. Those magnets are awesome. Magnets, yeah. Oh, that's clever. I, that's so I smart. Just shoved one, I cut a little pole and shove one in, and then one is under the paper. I'm going to have that's that awesome. my game. Also, paper. Good idea, Bob. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So, Janine, I need to get. I need to ask you a question. What you said you were able to get your dog to actually like open its mouth and stuff. Oh yeah, like, my dog. What, went, but there was. What, what was the key to getting him to do that? No, it was very easy. Yeah. But once I had him trained and he got cookies for it, he would. Just oh, so he was willing to do it all the time. Yeah. And closing yeah. His mouth all the That's time. funny. And I was it, trying to teach him to do it on signal. That's awesome. Which he would. He would do it on signal. But he wanted that then, cookie like immediately, probably. Yes. And then he would do it over and over again. Like, where's my cookie, mom? And yeah. When was this? How old were you? Last was this year. like recent? <laughs> we don't talk about women's ages. Oh, I don't know. He's lost not year. on camera. I'm sorry. I'm not asking how old you are. I was so asking when. Was it, were you was a this? teenager? Were you yeah. like a. No. Steen's Steen's died nine years ago. Oh, yes, so in the last ten years. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if this was like I missed part of the conversation. I wasn't sure if this was like when you were a kid or if this was. Oh no! Recent. When I was a kid, I did snakes. Oh okay. Ooh, and snakes. raccoons. Cool. No, no offense, meant, Jenny. Oh, no raccoons were as an adult. Raccoons were after I married John. That's true. Mm. As one does. As one does. With raccoons, I don't understand Susan's problem with raccoons, but oh, I had some bats another... two nights ago. Oh my god, Did it came you? right up to the right up to the camera. Oh my gosh, has this been posted yet? I look no. forward to your raccoon I updates on Facebook. I can post. Susan. I can post them. I saw. Yeah, I watched one of your raccoon videos. This was That's like two days ago. I haven't posted it yet. Show it to my wife. I wish my raccoon videos were were, were digital. Two. Two two videos, one right, one a couple minutes after the other. Uh, I have raccoon pictures, but I don't have many raccoon videos because it was pre-camera days, which was really too bad because because Scout Scout would get this handful of dog food from the raccoon cafe and then walk outside with it, but he had lost his tail so it was kind of hard and one time he dropped all the dog food on the floor the dog comes over and starts eating it and scout starts just going like this trying to gather it all up that was very funny but i don't have videos oh, no. new days. okay there's there's my raccoons what are yeah. they named oh no no i mine aren't named oh, this, that's your problem I can't tell. Oh well, yeah, apart. do you think you're getting the same? How many? No idea. Have you had at one point three? I or had four at two? one point. Oh wow! Okay. This was one. I'm assuming it's probably repeat offenders, right? Once they learn, they can go somewhere and get food. They're going to come back. I have back. no idea. I what I've been doing is just trying to. Now I have to take in the water and everything that I used to keep outside, because the first thing they do is go try to wash their hands in the water. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Maybe they'll stay outside and no, because then they come in and say, "All right, our hands are clean. Let's go." Or possibly <laughs> see what's in the house, and they come in and they try to get something in the house. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a little uh, a little mat in front of the door Actually, so they can wipe their feet? You know, they can wipe you know their feet and have clean paws, feet paws. Too. And they got mud all over, all over. So I got up at two in the morning, two thirty in the morning, and mopped my floor. No. I wouldn't have to do it in the morning. No, so it's it hot at your house, Susan? No. So you haven't had any of the effect of the no, heat? No, I mean, it's been hotter. It's like 80. 
but my house is fairly cool so it's yeah. not like a big deal but you know we can we can complain and moan and groan about it i did go out and was planting flowers and planting uh, uh seeds yesterday and the day before so i didn't and it was just a little too bright too much sun i was like oh my god i gotta go inside yeah okay, here's i the wondered day. how hot you were getting not too bad you were i went over to the coast when it was hot oh, i went okay. kayaking I camped, I camped over at Cape Lookout alone because nobody would go with oh. me and I went kayaking. Oh, oh, wow. By yourself? Wait, this video I had. Oh, by myself. I needed a vacation. But that's dangerous, isn't it? I made it back. Well, my husband yeah. didn't tell me I couldn't go. Well, he doesn't have a choice. I mean, come on now. Yes, he does. If he had told me he was worried about me and it was dangerous, I wouldn't have gone. Oh. So if something happens to you, we get to blame him. So you could look we'll at say. it that way. We have stopped her. We have it on video. I see. Oh, oh. But you shouldn't have gone. Okay, there's one. Where's the other one? Oh, God. These eyes on these things. Oh, my God. It's freaky. Susan. You know yeah. what the French for raccoon is? <laughs> I can only imagine. What is it? Baton laveur. What is that? Washer rat. <laughs> oh. Baton is rat and laveur is a wash. You know when wash. Scout would go outside and, you know, the Oregon banana slugs? And then he'd come in and his feet would just be caped with slug the, the slime, slime and oh, mud. Man. And so I would put some water in the bathtub and give him a bar of soap and let him play. And he washed his own hands, which okay. was much better than tracking slug slime and mud yeah. through the house. They haven't called us back yet, right? Nope. Right. Well, maybe you don't have really a choice. This is 20 seconds long. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Do it. Show us. Share screen. Okay. Oh, look at him. Let me turn He's on so the sound. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I don't know where the sound is. But I'm telling him, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> you guys need to leave. And then here's the other one. Better uh, than those people that had a bear in their house. Oh you yeah. This one, you guys? Yeah. Show us the next one. <laughs> this is the other one. This is the first one, actually. My cat's leaving. And I'm like, oh my God. Time to get rid of the cat door. No, I can't. We're not <laughs> seeing Scared. the video. Huh? We're not yeah, seeing you're not the... Oh, you're not seeing the video? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I thought you were no, seeing the video. you guys share us. Okay, here we go. Let me hit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's no sound. <clears throat> Oh, I got. Oh, I have to hit share sound. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. But there isn't. There's but that TV. doesn't. It's like the video doesn't have sound because it won't yeah. allow you to put it on. Ow. <laughs> so my cat got. It's the first time I've ever seen my cat and the raccoons at the same time. <laughs> what's, flying, what's flying around in the air? It's like a hair or something. It's like a hair. It's the hair. Whenever they're here, it's just so. And there's muddy footprints all over this ground here. You can't tell. You've got mm -hmm. orbs flying through your house. It's except ghosts. They're, they're yes. flying. You have ghosts. When is, when is he calling us back? Oh, Susan, you need to um, invest People, in I guess those... we're having super tough problems with this topic. You better right. get somebody on those ghosts in your house. You need to invest mm -hmm. in the electronic... Um, cat door that you put like collars on the cats and then it only opens when it has that. No, we tr I tried it. Yeah, it, it goes on the microchip of the cat. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the problem is, is that everybody, everybody tells me to do this. The thing is, is, I tried it. You have to cut a new hole in the door because the 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 yeah, you need room for the electronics and all that. Yeah. Well, it's bigger, so you have to cut uh -huh. a new hole in the door. Right. And then we couldn't get it to work. Oh, so I had to go get a new door, and that was like a grand because oh, yeah, doors aren't cheap. Well, that's no, a nice I'm door. Sorry I couldn't get it working. 
couldn't get it working and it was cut weird and it didn't look right it's just oh no they gotta come up with something better so now what we do is we just it's you know they only really come inside when i forget to um put the cat food away and because i have to lock the cat food up every night because are you you don't you, do you care if the cats don't have access to go out like in the yeah i care they've been put... meowing all night oh really so they want to go out in the middle of the night yeah they gotta go i was gonna say you could block the yeah. oh i can easily block it because it has a lock on it so oh, i can okay. block it but they'll be like this bang, banging at the banging door. and they'll want to get out so you have to leave it unlocked throughout the night i can That's make safe. it so that my cats can go out and can't come back in okay so i can lock it that way but then i'm at my cat sitting outside all night and they're gonna be yeah right oh yeah they could or then they make it. friends with the raccoons and then they plot against you yeah. So why? Why is he not calling us back? Cats. They they took video. There was this study of what cats do at night, and they were playing with skunks. They were like yeah. running around with skunks. Did anybody see yeah. that? There was there's video of it. As long as it's a friendly uh, affair, because you don't want cats yeah. thinking mm -hmm. like skunks. That's no fun. No. I just brought Kevin over here. Mm -hmm. Kevin, where's yeah. everybody at? Why are why are we not back already? We've been done some like people, ten minutes some people, ago. Some people are struggling. Oh, really? Come on. Wow, we we got this down pat. I well, did. We've well. been we've been, done, we've been chatting some. and watching raccoon videos from Susan and watching like, raccoon videos. Yeah. We well, raccoon. some people thought they did well, and they still got a couple wrong. So really? that's kind of interesting. So why are they there? I mean, what did no, we no, do? there's one group that's struggling on the theme and they have like three answers wrong. So they're struggling. Oh, no. Well, yeah, the theme, I mean, Ooh. we were getting the right answers, but then Mike noticed the theme because I'm like, wait, there's some words yeah. that rhyme. But then, of yeah. course, once once Mike figured out the theme, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, duh. What did you have for the village? Words. The village, the village people. In the song. Navy. Yeah, because but some, the people, Navy. Uh, some people, some people are stuck on Macho Man. Uh, well, yeah, but if you oh, know the theme, the obviously they're all they're all piano man. They're oh, stuck on Macho Man, and, macho and it's funny man. because they don't know that it rhymes with the oh, next macho. one. You know what I mean? Right in the Navy, and yeah, it's it's all the the I piano the man the lyrics. Navy. And I forgot Macho Man. I so that was that was a good theme. I well, it's Billy Joel. You know. That's the only the second category I've done on Billy Joel. Oh, right, so but specifically, it's Piano this? Man, which is a great Billy Joel song. But it's only the second time I've done a Billy Joel category. Yeah. Which you guys please, think please. it's, I, I say something every week about them, but I don't yeah, yeah. categorize. Mm -hmm. So why are they not back? Point. Why are we not back? Yeah, I'm Is closing them out. Pull the, plug. Pull the string. All yeah. right, I'm leaving the room. I'm going to go over there and I will call. Yep, I am too. Okay, I bye. just did. I just did. Oh, you just well, did? They're okay. call back. You're not supposed they're to do it while you're back. still in the room, Kevin, because now when you leave this room, it's it 47 seconds to go. I'm not going to leave. Okay, you stay here. I'm in this room, so I did it the right way. I think. Yep. I think so. so. Okay. Doors with an RFID tag so that only her yeah, well, We had that discussion. Susan said that a lot of people tell her to do that, but she tried it and it the thing I had to cut a like new crap hole in and, the door and ended up having to buy a new and thousand it dollar was door. Bulky and it didn't work. It wouldn't read it off. It's the microchips on the cat's thing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't working correctly. And I had to buy a brand new door. And it was expensive. So I, said, so I don't know about the brand new plot, but sometimes those things can be problematic depending where the chip is in your cat. If it's too far That to doesn't the back. help me any if I well, have that's why it don't, don't it. they have ones that you can put a collar around them? Right. And it the, the, one, the, the ones collar. I've looked at have an option that if your, tag, if your cat's chip doesn't work, you can put a tag on the a chip on the collar and that'll usually work. Your cats like collars. <laughs> I have one cat with a collar and the yeah. other two will freak out. Well, and of course, depending collar. upon how old they are now, if they've gone 12. that many years without collars, they're not, you have, to, you have to break them in when they're- So you kids. have an outdoor cat that doesn't have a rabies tag on it at all times? No, we don't do that here. You You're not required to have a collar on the raccoon so that the door <laughs> locks. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Good, good answer, Janine. I'm telling you, we've talked about it and talked. Janine about has it. special relationship with raccoons. Yeah, have to she could probably all do that. The raccoons for miles around, though. And they're babies. 
I'm going to make a video whenever I hang up with you guys. Well, today, and I'll, uh, while you're I'll tagging me, I can have them fixed so they don't make babies. Are you guys ready for the answers? <laughs> yeah. I have them captured who, and have who them. Wants to, who wants to sing number one? <laughs> I was singing Saturday night. On Saturday night. 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 Saturday night. Number two. Number two. Either answer either answer is correct. The killer joke or the world's funniest joke. All right. Number three is smoke on the water. Uh, in the sky. Uh, number four is Davy. Is he in the Navy? He is and in the Navy. Number five is in the Navy. <laughs> and he probably will be for life. Probably. Yep. <laughs> number is six the... is politics. All right. Number seven is I Drink Alone, the song by George uh, Stewart. Uh, I Drink Alone. Uh, uh, I agree. Had the uh, uh, had the shit. right song, one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Yeah, one that's bourbon. the other song. It's a different song. It's I drink alone yeah. with all my friends. Right. His friends, yep. Johnny Walker and. Oh, yep. Yep. okay. Yeah, those oh. are. All... Marrow's falling asleep. Let's Jack see. Yeah, uh, what was the other two guys' names? Jimmy, Jimmy Bean, and Johnny Walker, and Jack yep, Johnny uh, Walker, Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Jack, um, Daniels. Yeah. Got and it. And then uh, Jar Jar Binks. And yeah. the last one, uh, or the far, uh, bar, I'm sorry. Number eight is bar. Number nine is Jar Jar Binks. And number 10 is feeling all right. All right. Yeah. I feel bad yeah. for that actor. Yeah. Like, even though I hated the character, like he, they tormented <laughs> yeah. him to the point where he like considered Hi, Mark. committing suicide. Mark. He was Thanks tormented for so me. much. Bye, everybody. I'm back Plus, another time. Bye. Bye, Watch us in the how we did. Uh, piano man. Right, I'll look it up. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's my key was Billy Joel's Piano Man. Duh. <laughs> say, say it again, Karen. Bob, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nine so o'clock on a Saturday. All right. I've nice. given you guys crowd, the special in. master yes. debaters. I gave you Adrian. I first I gave you Karen, and then I gave you Adrian. I know. Thank you. So what Thank is your you. score? Well, we had so much fun. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the lead. How come the score is not changing? Oh, stupid thing. How do I do this? Oh, I got to well, not, not for long. Oh, no. I got to go like this. I'm... Oh, my God. <laughs> Any, anytime set, Susan does this, oh uh, nope, not, Rob just cringes. It. How does it do this? Why is it not doing it? Go up to the go up to the game above and copy the five the five uh, oh, cells. God, no. But she already <laughs> fixed it though. It works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's no. fine. Oh, no. if she ruined the color <laughs> coding. Yeah, no, the, it the doesn't color work. coding that tells you which one is. What do I need to copy? For the format, I guess. The formula, rather. Where is it? Right there above the arrow. No, 33 person. to 28, Susan. Right there, right there. And then all down. Copy, though, yeah. Yeah. copy all that. Now, copy it. that. Copy. Yep. I and did. Paste, paste it over where paste the 20 is. Paste and paste 20. it. Right there. And now click, now paste. Paste. Yay. So boom. See, I can do this. Booyah, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. Wow. It's okay. Insane. All right. So the empty folders. Uh, 10. Oh, 10. Thank you. Oh, that was our team. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. I knew the politics of dancing. All right, so the devil's haircut. We got seven. Shame on you. Not old enough, apparently. We didn't realize the theme. We had a really oh. hard time. Oh, you're uh, usually good at getting those themes. I don't like Billy Joel. Oh, oh no. shame on you! I'm not. I'm not a shame on you. For shame. I think you've been duly. You've received your just reward for not liking Julie. There you go. All right. So Freddie Mercury, ten. Woo perfect and score so far. For, for where perfect. are all the hats going? We got eight. <gasps> oh, Ooh, we're tied. tied for the lead. We're tied. Man. That was a stinger. That was a stinker. Okay. Good, good one, Kevin. That was fun. Yep. That was a fun one. All right. Still, still don't get the theme. 
<laughs> okay, everybody. You need to have a drink at the bar. That's a bar that was based on a bar in Los Angeles called the Executive mm -hmm. Lounge. Mm -hmm. That's where it was written. All right. Yeah, I, I don't drink. Is everybody paying attention? Are no, we? For, I don't for what? Jane we is we next. can't hear you, Susan. Jane is next. Oh, Jane. Jane. You know the rules. Bring it we home. have to be nice. Leonard, you're in charge. You get to boot anybody who's not nice to Jane. All right. Ready to mute. Okay. So Jane, wait, what's what's the category? First? We're gonna let her give the category and everybody's yes. gonna put on your happy, put on your hat. I want to see some happy faces. How excited we are to have these things. Okay. Okay, oh. Jane. What's your category? Okay, well, you will be happy because um, okay, my category is 1960s TV show theme songs. Ooh. The opening credits. Um, and the reason that you'll be happy is because I was working on this and other options for a game. And I felt like that all of my, um, all of my um, clues were really obscure and difficult. And so I started making, I started working on games that were easier and easier. And then when Paula checked my, uh, my clues last night she said that it was that my game was very easy so um I, harder, right? I, so no, it's all so it's all paula's fault <laughs> no yeah. no it's my it's, fault it was so easy I, for paula <laughs> I, I aired on making it very easy this on on my first game because i couldn't judge um so i expect everyone to get uh, Okay. Famous okay. last words. So sure. put in the chat Meeting what it is you want to call three, this game. Two. I'm sorry, what? In the chat. Okay. Just put down what you in call three, two, one, and remember to unmute, unmute yourself. yourself, Jane. Jane. Okay, I'm unmuted because I'm annoying. <laughs> so what do you want to call this, Jane? You're muted. As long as you realize that, Susan. Is that I'm what? That I'm annoying. Yes. Yeah, that you're annoying. You, you said it yourself. You're on me tonight, Ben. I've got a <laughs> recording of this. You are called me old. And... Okay, Jane, Never. what is it you're calling this team, this game? Um, I'm trying to paste into the chat. Sorry, I'm having a little difficulty with um, learning how to use. Um, okay, I got it. There you go. There I go. Okay. All right. So, okay, um, so I am going to provide you a part of the lyrics of a theme song from the opening credits of a TV show from the 1960s, and you're just going to name the TV show. Okay, so number one, let me handle the um, cut and, or, or I'm sorry, the uh, copy and paste, sorry. I'm having difficulty okay. managing. Um, I, I'm sorry. Please bear with me. I'm making little little things out of Twizzlers, so I'm okay. I walked into a bar. He says, "Ouch!" Because it's an iron bar. <laughs> <laughs> My dragon's gonna eat twizzlers. I'm sorry. Um, when I'm copying and pasting multiple lines, it's not. Um, Is it going into your chat box? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it enter. Yeah. But my problem is that it's um, it's uh, joining the lines in together as one. Okay, give me, let me let me try it one last time. I apologize. Uh, okay. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Khrushchev's do at Idlewild. That's number one. Number two. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, 
blank, blank being the name of the show. Chestnuts, rainbows, springtime is blank. She's tinsel on a tree. She's everything that every girl should be. Now, as clarification for this one, the lyrics were added to this theme song in the 1970s season of the show, which I'm telling you because this is 60s theme songs. The, this was a primarily 1960s show, but it continued on in the 70s and the lyrics were added to the same theme song in the 1970 season. That's clear. So the lyrics were added later, even though the theme song existed in the 60s. Correct. Um, number three. We're just trying to be friendly. Come and watch us sing and play. We're the young generation and we've got something to say. Number four. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who'll love me till the end. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy, cuddly toy, my up, my down, my pride and joy. Number five. In the chill of a, I'm sorry, in the chill of night at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Number six. And on a star spangled night, my love, you can rest, you can rest your head on my shoulder. While by the dawn's early light, my love, I will defend, I will defend your right to cry. Oh, that was so sad. The words in parentheses are a background chorus. Number seven. Everybody knows in the second life, we all come back sooner or later as anything from a pussycat to a man eating alligator. Number eight. It's about two astronauts. It's about their fate. It's about a woman and their prehistoric mates. You put seven twice. Oh, I'm sorry. Number nine. All but one man died there at Bitter Creek and they say he ran away blank, marked with a coward's shame. Number 10. From West Virginia, they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as blank. And there is a bonus. Sorry, just a sec. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. <laughs> means it's midnight here. Wordle time. See? Nine o'clock on a Saturday. Huh. 
sorry, having trouble getting it to paste. Okay, in number one, where is Idlewild that is referred to in this song? Name the correct proper name at the time this TV show aired. There you go. Very good. Very good, Jane. <laughs> now, um, I don't know practically speaking how to um, manipulate the um, moving in and out of the rooms. On okay, Zoom. you have special powers. Okay. Are you on a are you on a tablet or a? Oh, uh, no, I'm on a laptop. Okay. So what you're going to do is at the very bottom of your screen, it says breakout rooms now. There's a little. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you click on the, when you click on that, you will see that it's going to allow you to be able to move to rooms. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Open, so it had open all rooms. Do you see that on the breakout rooms? lower right hand corner it's bright blue yep i do go ahead and hit it okay and when you're ready to come back close all rooms well when you're done but come oh, in, come over to your come to your main room and talk to me okay all right good job thank you okay i'll be on your team so hopefully you know okay. i'll screw it up for you hello team hello Oh, good grief. Okay, I know, I know the first one. <laughs> good. It's uh, Mark 54. 54, where are you? Yeah. Mark uh, likes this song. Or he likes that show a lot. And Idlewild is the one that's tied to it. So Idlewild was a place in LA. Well, no. Wild is Idlewild also is the airport in New York. Yeah. Oh. oh. But, was that uh, Jamaica Queens before? Yeah, no, JFK? It, it's it's the one that's now called JFK. Yeah, it was oh. Jamaica Queens before Jamaica Khrushchev, Queens. Yeah, Khrushchev's do at Idlewild. So we're calling it New York. It's it's, it's Idlewild Airport. Yeah, it's Idlewild Airport, and it was what's now Jamaica Queens. Okay, so we're supposed to call it what it was at the time. Idlewild Airport. Idlewild Airport. Oh, we thought it was the place in the line. Nope. <laughs> That's why Khrushchev was due at Idlewild because it's the major, major yeah. airport in New York. I'm just yeah. this because it's there's no Harlem in LA, right? Up in the hills, in uh, not a Harlem. Harlem. Oh well, there's no airplanes there. Okay, number two, I do not know. I have no idea. That girl, starring that's, Marlo Thomas. That's what I was thinking. That girl. Oh. Yeah, based on the clue that Jane gave. Yeah. Okay, about the three. about it being added later. I think right. it's the monkeys. The monkeys. That's know. the monkeys. Hey, oh, hey, good. we're the monkeys. We agree. Good. Everybody's sleeping around. Hey, Jan, you better go flow, flute around at all the others because this I, room is being recorded. So you can go back and see this later. Go, go, go see the other rooms and hang out and see. Okay. Go. But keep a straight <laughs> face. It's really hard. Some people wear a mask. Put a mask on. They put the mask on. Your virtual mask. <laughs> There's a virtual mask on your on your stop video little icon. Oh yeah. So that so people can't see your expression because it is really hard. Okay, she's gone. All right. So people, let me four, tell you, my best friend. Oh, I, I just know the commercial that uses that it? now. Jane, yeah. No? Um it, it sounds familiar. Let's, people tell me about my best friend. Let me tell you about my best friend. Ed, because they use it on a commercial now. Yeah. It's very familiar. I think it's... Oh God. You love you till the end. Um, right, right. I can't... But yeah. I, yeah, the show. Maybe it'll come to us. So six, five? So uh, what, what do we have so far? Uh, so we've got car 54, where are you for number one? We've got right. that for number two the monkeys for number three we don't know number four and now we're the courtship of eddie's father is number five is number four. Oh, oh the courtship of eddie's father yeah 
Okay. Oh, I don't even think I've watched it. Was it good? It was, a, it was very sweet. I, I've never heard of I've it. I've heard of it, but it's black and white. Chill of the starring? In the chill of night, scene of a crime. I don't know. I put the underdog. Underdog? You know, the cartoon character? Does sound right. 60s? I don't know. I, didn't he say, didn't he say, no, I don't remember what he said. It's. Oh, wait. Is that Spider Man? In the 60s? Yeah. No, I just buy it. He does whatever a spider can. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I think I think no. that's Spider Man. He could I, say in the chill of night at the scene of a crime. He, 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 he arrives in time. Sort of it fits. Yeah. Okay. He's been around for a while. Yeah, not a clue about number six. Rest your head on my shoulder. No. Oh. By the dawn, I will be there. Uh, Paula thinks these are all easy. Yeah, but she would. <laughs> She's yeah. Paula. Yeah, she thinks it's easy. Number seven. Everybody knows the second. No one. idea. Yeah, it doesn't ring any bells at all. That should. You know, if we've heard that, I think we would remember an alligator and a pussy cat and people in the second life. Oh, you know this one? What is it? No, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to speak. Um, number eight. It's not the Flintstones if it's got astronauts in it. I Dream a Genie? No. There's a, two astronauts. The only thing I could think of was Lost in Space, but I, I have no idea. Well, the uh, I Dream of Genie is two astronauts and a woman, but... No prehistoric mates. But there's no prehistoric mates. I don't think... Was it the 60s? It might have been 1967 or something. Yeah, I don't remember. Da, da. Dun, dun. Oh, that's me, which. What was I Dream of Genie like? I remember. The Dick, the Dick Van Dyke show was the 60s too, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it had words. Okay, 10. Uh, is 10 the real McCoys? I've never seen it. Well, it rhymes with boys. And the meter's right. Yeah. Just and the family McCoy. known as McCoy? The real McCoys. Is it, right? the, is it the real McCoys? Or but I mean, McCoys. at the end, it would have said, from West Virginia, they came to stay in Southern California. I, old grandpappy, most of the girls and the boys of the family known as the real McCoys. That does fit. I've never seen it. And we skipped number nine. And that's the all men, but uh, all but one man died there at Bitter Creek. Sounds like a cowboy show. It most certainly does. What? It wasn't uh, gun smoke, was it? I don't remember a theme song for Good Smoke. Doesn't mean there wasn't one. I just don't remember it. And when I think cowboy TV shows, I get rawhide stuck in my head. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Now it's in my head. Rawhide. 
Um, okay, the Big it's Valley. Version. How about the Big Valley was popular in the 60s, right? I don't know the song. And wasn't um, when uh, Ponderosa, the Bonanza? Um, oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but, that but, the but that's, those aren't the lyrics. There's no yeah. words. There was no words. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not much help on 60s TV shows. Yeah, I... I was to before my time. It's been a while ago. <laughs> it wasn't before my time, but it's been so long ago, I don't remember. Yeah. Um... It's not as easy as you thought, Jane. It's a lot Maybe. harder. How's Maybe. everybody else doing, though? Pardon me? How how generally how would you say everybody's doing? Um, I think that that there are some people who are not. I mean, there are some groups that are not getting them all. Okay. That would be. Do you think? Do you think <laughs> you need more time, or do you think that it's a waste of time to give them more time? Um, do you think they're on the right track and they're about to get it, or are they like totally like? Uh, well, I I think maybe another couple another couple of minutes, and then that's it. Yeah. 1960s, everyone comes, everyone knows in the second life. My Some mother, the car. Some people have gotten that one. <laughs> Is it my mother, the car? My mother, the car. Don't tell us, Jane. Don't Not say anything. Which was that, that a really show? Rob was Hall that a show? Hell he yeah. To go to room oh, really? Two. Yeah, well, I got room two, Jane. I'm sorry, what did you say? Rob Palmer in room two has just asked for help. So go to room okay. two. I will do that. Yes, number seven. How about my favorite Martian for something? <laughs> Eight. But there's only, there's. No. No, there's no other, there's no astronauts. There's just the Martian. I'm, I'm, I'm desperate now just thinking of 60 shows. Yeah. I'm hoping to trigger your memory. One of you guys' memories. All in the family. That, that wasn't was the 70s, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Ah, jinx. <laughs> I remember all in the family. That I was something else. In the 60s. I don't Because they wouldn't get by with some of the stuff they talked about then now. Oh, no. Actually, it'd probably be pretty popular. You think so? Uh, I think they Which? I think if, if they were to make the show now, but about that era. Do you think it would go over? I think so. Which which one? All in the Family. All, All in the family. family? I don't think they could do it and make those characters today like right. existing in the world we're in right now. But I think a show about that time and how prejudiced they were and things oh, they yeah. dealt with, I think that'd been interesting. Oh, how about Barney Miller? That was the 60s, wasn't it? Uh, that was like 70s into the I 80s. think that was later. Oh. It was later. That was good, Barney Miller. They had some pretty, pretty good stuff on Barney Miller. I remember it. it. Yeah. Uh, can, can I ask you something, Susan? Sure. Um, so do you, I can't recall, do you guys have your bonus answer? Yes. 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 Can you tell me what it is? Ottawa Wild Airport in New York. And okay. Make a so the reason that I asked you if you have it is because um, I had worded the question or maybe poorly. Um, I had not known that people would generally know that it's an airport, so I, I worded the question poorly, and um, my, my question is intended to ask uh, for the proper name of the airport at the time the show aired. Um, that is all. 
Um, and so there's been some confusion in some rooms. And so I want to let others know that that is the question. Not, there are not two questions. There is just one question. The name, the proper name of the airport at the time the show aired. So some people in another sure. room said that you have a way of broadcasting this, or I can tell people, I can go from room to room and tell them. But what would you tell them? That it's a, because I'm not sure I understand the confusion because name well, the correct proper name at the time this show aired. Right. But but in a while. In, in the other wise. room, they were thinking that I was asking two questions. Where is it? And what is the proper name? Is this Rob Palmer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but it does, it does say where is, where is it? and the correct proper name at the time the show aired. I don't have a question mark at the very end of this. I only see a question mark. Where is yeah. Idlewild was referred to in this song, question mark. And, they, and the, that, the answer to that is time. New York. <laughs> so Rob's confused thinking that you're asking two questions. Mm -hmm. But does he have- well, one, one is a question, the other is a, an instruction. One is a question, the other is an instruction. Where is Idlewild? And then name the proper name of the, at the time the TV show aired. So do you think she needs to clarify that? Well, I don't know when it changed to JFK, but it was. Uh, I don't I think, think that's the confusion. The confusion is that they, they don't know, they, they wanna know like if I'm asking like the location. Like what city? Yeah, like, was, is it in Queens? Is it, you know, on Long Island? So you want to reword the question to be, what I mean, is the correct here, name? Yeah, apparently every, you know, maybe maybe they already know it's an airport. Okay, let's see, broadcast, so, let's see. It was what, New York International Airport, and they've always called it Idlewild Park. Oh, there's a message for all. Okay, let me see. So I'm gonna write broadcast message to all. Um, just to, they can bonus. just delete the first half of the question and just say, what is the proper? What is the 1960s name? No, at the, at, well, what is the proper say, name the at the time yeah. the show aired? Okay, is this correct? What is the proper name at the time the show aired of Idlewild? And I wrote bonus. So I wrote yeah, the, co the correct proper name. Correct proper name, not right. the location. And, and, and Sarah, I think you're right. It's just and called, it's Idlewild Park, but yeah, it's- but but, It's New York International Airport. But the correct name is probably New York International Airport. Yeah, I used to work for an airline. So, oh. <laughs> So should I say not the location? No, just name the, give the correct proper name at the time this TV show aired. Okay, here's where I wrote, bonus. What is the correct proper name at the time the show aired of Idlewild? Or should I say, what is the correct proper name of Idlewild at the time the show aired? Mm -hmm. That's it. Right, right. Okay, let's see. What's the correct proper name of, of I-D-L-E-W-L-D at the time the show aired? Okay. What um, airline did you work for, Sarah? FedEx. Heard of them. Yeah. I have heard of them too. Yeah. Hey, okay, so you might- I've never been a passenger. Change, go to all the other rooms really <laughs> quick and just say, did you see the, because it comes up really quick. Did you see the message? Yeah. And just put, but don't go into a lot of detail because I think it's, I think they're overthinking it. Okay. Yep. Thanks. And we'll wait. Rob overthinking? Oh my God. <laughs> Never. That hasn't happened in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Actually, it probably has. Yeah. We just didn't hear it. 
I, I, I guess my problem was, is I don't understand what the confusion was. I guess it could be confusing. Well, I, I think I think Sarah's right. The name of the airport is not Idlewild Airport. Yeah, it's, it's New it's, York International Airport. Mm -hmm. And just everyone called it Idlewild. Yeah. So why did they call it Idlewild? Is that a city? Because it's the name of the park. And that's where right. it is. Yeah. So the correct answer is New York. New York International Airport. Right. Just like uh, what uh, before they renamed it, Sacramento's airport was Sacramento Metropolitan Field. Right. A boring name. Well, you know, now it's we Sacramento. Call it Sacramento Inter Intergalactic Airport. Intergalactic. So, <laughs> so what is, is Idlewild now called JFK? Yeah. Yeah. Idlewild is now JFK. And then, oh, okay. Which one's, and, and Reagan Airport is called Dulles or is it the other way around? Washington National. Yeah. Washington National is Reagan. Except I refuse to call it that. Yeah. So which yeah. one's Dulles? Dulles. 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 Dulles is, is, is in Dulles is the is the big airport um, in that area, but it's way outside of town. It's a pain in the ass to get to. And that's Washington. And, and that is Dulles. Dulles is in Definitely. Virginia. Right. So it's named after oh some guy. Some some politician okay, guy. So early bad guy. Dulles. Yeah. Well, not as bad as Reagan. Reagan are in our Washington ish. Our Washington ish, yes. Okay. Our Washington area, yeah. We flew into Dulles. I did. And right. then I had to take a like a 45 minute cab ride to my hotel in Silver Spring. Taking cab bus. Eventually, the uh, Metro is going to get out there. Well, about time. But the thing is, is Adrian and I flew to North Carolina and we got up really early, thankfully, because we went and took a Uber to Dulles and it was the wrong airport. So then we had to take an Uber to Reagan. Right. Oh so my national. God. National. Because we weren't even thinking. We just right. we were going to the airport. Right. Oh. And thankfully, mm -hmm. we didn't miss our plane. We were so early. Yeah, in Dallas, you need to specify also whether you're going to Love or DFW. Right. Really? So there are two yep. different places? Yeah, yep. Love Field and DFW, two, two different places. Yep. DFW is a lot bigger, though. Way mm -hmm. bigger. Yeah, Leonard, DFW is like Buffalo, a damn town. When you go to back to CFI, yeah. Where? When you're making a flight, how where is your usually your plane flight from if you're coming out of San Jose? Uh, usually, you, usually I uh, go through San Francisco because it's an easier easier to get connections. Um, and uh, usually I'll do Chicago, um, but make sure that it's not only a one hour uh, layover because it's really easy to get bumped. Um. I learned the hard way not to fly standby through SQI. Oof. What's SQI? Uh, Chicago. Uh, I've never flown through Chicago. Well, yeah. Yeah. If you fly standby, you will get bumped unless you are super, super, super schmoozy to the ground crew. Yeah. Because I, I always made I always made connecting flights because you know I'd bring the ground crew coffee and you know come up and schmooze them commiserate you know about all the cranky people in front of them that are yelling at them and everything somehow i would make the flight and they wouldn't oh <laughs> that's the key huh I'll I'll pay pay toy or some kind of gift or especially when you're flying standby because you know i would interline so you know i'd only pay 20 was it 25 bucks to fly across the country yes yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering why you call it sqi instead of ord uh, well, there's SQI and then there's also ORD. ORD is O'Hare. Yeah, and that's that's SQI the that's the big SQI one. Is the other is the smaller one. Is that Midway? Yeah, Chicago Midway. Yeah. Oh, she's closing the rooms. Look at that. She did good. Uh, nice. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, so we don't have any airports. I've never six, flown eight or nine. Into. Yeah. I've never flown to Chicago. Yeah, we don't have six, eight, or nine. Oh. Anybody got any guesses? Because I got. Nothing. Well, put put like. Something down that we named every time. So what was the name of something we, we said? So you had something for um, for nine. 
something that rhymed, right? Oh, we had Bonanza. Yeah, 10 was the no, right. We, 10 was the one that rhymed. Valley. 10 uh, was the real McCoy. Yeah, we right. could do... just put down like the Big Valley or Bonanza on anything we missed, or yeah. or uh, something else we said that was the '60s. Like, um, what else did we say? Oh well, good job, team. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, it was a lot harder than I thought. Boy, you said it's gonna be easy. I don't know you guys. That's Paula because Paula knows this kind of stuff. Paula's. Yeah, that was we'll a just... step. Yeah. It was half easy for me, but my team had the rest, so it yeah, was easy we'll, for us. We'll just say that I'm I'm glad there were other people on my team because I, really... <laughs> I would have got five. Adrian, was your son any guys, help? Got 10. Was Troy any help for you? No. Yeah, he's much too young. Yeah, he would have been he... better at the uh, the category right before, which was superhero. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would have got three or four maybe on my own. But... This oh. one, this was my best single, oh. and I would have got seven, I think, seven, maybe even eight. Really. Okay, so Jane, I you a lot of TV in the 60s. Oh, well, I'm not that old. So Jane wants to show um, clips. And you oh, got to cool. ready to go? You're going to turn off so your recording? You're going to turn off the recording? Yeah, I'm going to pause the recording. Thank you for reminding me. And yep. remind me to turn it back on if I don't. So Vincent Jane, should remind you know, me. Let me see how I can stop sharing. Stop sharing. I'm shocked everybody's not telling you how. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay, Jane! Good job. And the bonus. Fun, yeah. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the bonus. Okay. So, uh, Idlewild. When I originally asked the question, I did just. I just didn't assume that everyone would know it's an airport. I just figured you'd say, I, I, you know, that you didn't even know that. So good on everybody who I think already knew that it it was an airport. Idlewild. Um, it refers to uh, yeah. New York International Airport. Oh. What is now John F. Kennedy International Airport or JFK was originally called Idlewild Airport, but it original, but it officially opened in 1948 as New York International Airport. Oh, However, okay it was still commonly referred to as Idlewild. Famous um, episode of the Twilight Zone where a ship gets uh, lost traveling yeah. back in time and they're trying to raise the airport as Idlewild. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. That's so, when they see the dinosaur at the World's Fair. It was, it was <laughs> renamed JFK. No. It was Excuse renamed me. JFK in 1963 following the assassination of the president. But yeah. Car 54, Where Are You, aired from September 61 to April of 63. And the president was assassinated, I believe, in November. Yeah. So yeah. within yeah. a month, they renamed the airport? Correctly. Well, yeah. Uh, they named I, they named it after the assassination. Yeah. I don't know what after November. I don't know what day 64. they renamed it, but it was after the moved fast. Moved fast. So the correct answer is I don't New, York, want New, York, New York New York International, International Airport. That's what I wanted to hear. Good job. See so how Ke to change it. She did Kevin, it. Clarification: The dinosaurs were because they went back in time sixty-five million years. Not I know, and years. it's the same. It's 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 These the dinosaur, and then they yeah. go back to <laughs> the same location. It's like having teenage boys around the house. You can't let <laughs> Very good job, Jane. Let's see how we did as far as scores. It is it's awkward the first time you do it. Not only just the questions, but just the manipulation of the. Oh, yeah. the Everybody has the trouble with it. It's the attention Everybody. to minutia. It is. Yes. There's a lot of things that happen in the background. So here we go. Let's go over to scores. You used to work at the school. Jane, it was a great category. It was really fun. That was very good. Was no, that fun. Was fun. Yep. Now, and I made a list of things I've got to go watch. <laughs> okay. So the special master debaters. Ten. You need it too. We okay, let's just it. pause and a it. moment so you guys can enjoy the fact <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> For a minute or so. Yeah. Okay. The scores are all pretty close. The devil's haircut. Right now. <laughs> Not for long. If the score changes, then it's rigged. 
That's that's it. Yeah, yeah it's all rigged. It's all, all right. The eight. devil's haircut. I think eight. Oh. Okay. Protest. Protest. So we're gonna go over to where? Oh, the empty folders. Ten. Of course. Ten. Ten. Not one, ten. Oh, oh, ten. Oh, Great. you went to zero. Oh, one, one. You went two numbers. Try, trying to jip us out of points there, Susan. I see how it is. She's trying to keep it even. She's trying to keep it competitive. Yeah. Okay. So where are all the hats going? Which was James' group? We got eight. Oh, see, not bad. You didn't tank your team. And Freddie Mercury group. Nine. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be ten. Oh, there goes we the lost our score. shot at a perfect score for the night. Uh -huh. we might have a chance <laughs> you scored a nine so that is considered easy if you can get everybody average a nine that's that is considered easy even though i was really <laughs> see it wasn't so bad was it that was fun good job, was, jane. Yeah. Very good job good. jane so jane what the best part is that i don't tell everybody is that when you're you're it's your category you get to go room to room and listen to people discuss it and then you're just like oh my god it's just weird to hear people talking about it and you can't say anything. It's funny yeah. sometimes. Yeah, you're yeah. so tempted to help people. Yeah. I, I like to watch the thought process when people get the theme that I do. They go, they oh, go, oh, and then it's wrong. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they don't get it. And then it's like, wait for that moment. That I, I still don't get that theme, Kevin. Or whenever they talk themselves. Oh, somebody on the team <laughs> is like to listen to the song trying to give the, the right answer, answer, and everybody else is talking in the mouth. <laughs> it was very painful listening to my own team going, Harleen Zell. Who could that be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> so give yourself a couple weeks and we'll pressure you back in. So get started on <laughs> the category. All right. Last but not least. We have a bonus. This should be interesting because it's not going to be anything to do with dogs or cats, I don't think, right? No, actually, no. No dogs, no cats. Is it going to be parrots? Yeah, parrots. name the birds. <laughs> or no, or no, I, be, I'm a. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a? a I, I don't know. But go ahead. All rules. right, Kyle. Maybe it's you all let him say what it is. All right. Yeah, there's a couple ways we can go about it. That's one. Uh, I'm going to start <laughs> by putting a list of names in the chat. Uh -oh. You guys have from Mr. T down to Corinne Bailey Ra. Okay, I see it. Yeah. All right. Um, most of category? these, most of these are red herrings. I picked to fool you guys. Ten of them are people who have been immortalized as chia pets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so I glad. It. I am so no. glad you didn't give us that first. No. Oh, best Find category ever. Come on, Kyle. What's the real? What's the real thing? That's it. Find the ten chia oh, pets. That's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god. Okay, oh, okay. My god. Okay. Pets. Okay. James in the wrong room. Do you know how to leave to your room? Go to room four. I get here <laughs> it's because this is where you were when you were last. Okay. So go to four. All right, you guys. Who knows our chia pets? Faith knows just about everything. So no, I don't. I know there's a uh, Bob Ross. Bob one. this at Costco the other day, and they're sitting on their shelf in their kitchen. So what is the question? We have to pick out the real chia pets. Which ones are chia pet? I was waiting Mr. for Romero to say, what's a chia pet? I would say, let's yeah, do, what is a chia pet? <laughs> do you take chia seeds, you soak them in water, you slap it on this terracotta looking thing and it grows chia. A hair. hair. Like a it green hair. hair. Remember there was one, a Grogu that I wanted to get, but I didn't buy it because I know it was a waste of money, even though it had Grogu on it. Yeah. Okay. It was a thing um, about there is, 20 years ago. Yeah, there is a Bob yeah. Ross one. There is a Barack Obama one. Okay, I'm sure Mr. T would make sense. Yeah, Mr. T. Betty White, Donald Trump for sure. Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump. I don't Bob know. Martin, Betty White wouldn't. Nah. How about Billy Joel? That's only been included there because of Kevin. How about, about Pee Wee Herman? Herman? That makes sense. I would say, yeah, Pee Wee Herman. 
Yeah. We're now. Oh, yeah. We're well, hold on. I don't think Pee Wee Herman. I would think Weird Al. I would say Carrot Top. No, he put Carrot Top because we were just talking about Carrot No, because hair. Yeah, makes sense. It we were make just sense. talking about it. Right, but. You think it's a coincidence? I, I think it's a coincidence. Whoopi Goldberg would be another one I would put. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, Richard Simmons has that hair too. Yes, Richard Simmons. Yep. So that's how many? One, two, three, four. So are there only 10? Eight. 10. Yeah. So he says, so how many do we have? There's so a David Hasselhoff one. There has to be. I don't know who that is. You don't yeah. know who the Hoff is? Baywatch? He's the one of every gay guy in the world loves. Like he has a huge cult following in Germany. I'm not gay. Yeah. I'm not male. Okay. Like in German. It'd be German. I have I'm friends. not German. Okay. In my in my group of friends, they will send, they will mail items to each other, address David Hasselhoff at their address. And it may be like one of <laughs> albums or a calendar with him on it. Like it's it's a long running joke. Okay. Yeah. Um how many do we have so far? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have Bob Roth, Mr. T, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, Weird Al, Carrot Top, Whoopi Goldberg, Richard Simmons, and David Hasselhoff. How about Rick Wall? Uh-huh. Who's Richard Simmons? He's an exercise guru. Yeah, whatever happened to him? Is he dead? No, he's still alive. He's I know, but he's like... He's like, secluded yes. because of anxiety. You think something happened, happened to him? him? Yes, yeah, something. Rick is something. At Moria, to... Morita is is Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. Oh, you don't go from your way. I don't think. I, I don't think. think I think. Kid in Play, I think, would be one. Who? Kid in Play, because Kid in Play had the Zach Fro. Kid in Play is a name. Yeah, I never Kid heard of play. Is it a rapper? Uh. Actor, rapper, musician, something like that from the 80s black guy. He had the flat top. Oh, should we put that? Yeah, that's why I would think. Who's Betty White? <laughs> you did not just ask me who Betty White was. Oh, Betty White. Yeah, Betty White just Betty died. White, Betty White left us on November 1st, 2021. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, who no, cares I'm about not that? Cry about it. I'm Could that like, be one of them? Boy, we made it 10 years. If you want to make it to 11, you're not going to do that. Right. My name yeah. is Brody Wright. <laughs> I don't think it would. It's You know what? There probably is a Betty White one. No, well, but especially now. White. She's dead. Yeah. yeah, I don't think Betty White was. I doubt it. You don't think, I I think don't... the kid's dead? I, I think, think you have ten. You have ten already, right? Yeah, we have ten with Betty White, got, right? Without Betty, let's take off Kid and play and put Betty White. That's yeah, more Betty fun. White. My gosh, she was she was an icon. Of course, they would. I mean, like, I don't. Think I mean, everybody I think... all over the internet was like, "Don't kill off Betty White." Oh my gosh! We Look, were we were asking. Asking. We were we were talking about that today. Like, did anybody mention the Queen last week? Well. Like who, which one I was wondering if we were going to lose another one because we started going on and on about who's going to be taken over and stuff, you know. Yeah. Last week? No, this today. So we today. might have somebody next week. Tomorrow, if, if Prince Charles dies tonight. Well, he's got, he's, he's his mama, 96, grandma, 101. He's, he'll be all right. You don't think we're going to kill him off tonight? No. We did mention Prince Charles a lot tonight. You mentioned, you mentioned Charles. I'd rather have William. His as ears will save him. Yeah, I'd rather have William too. Definitely. Yeah, but I don't I know. Enough to be with Charles. The, ma the max you'll some... probably get of Charles is like 23 years. Oh, you got it down. Let's write really? this down. That yeah, long. It, he'll, he'll only be able to yeah, like, a, like a third We're of what he's over. Over. Right was. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, and he's gone. He's seventy-two. 
Who? Charles. Charles. King Charles. Jack. King Charles. Yeah, but he's not. he's not king until he's no, he's king. Crowned. No, he's king. He's king. Long live the king. As soon as the as soon as the prior monarch head of state passes, it passes to him. It's a, he's not coronated though. Yeah, he's not coronated, but he is he is the acting king of yeah. the Commonwealth. Right. That's how it is here when, like when the king first, hears and that's that's the first first thing that they decide is before they make like, like what's your regnal name? What will you go by? It had and, one of his names, right? No, it doesn't. You can pick any name that you want. That's what they were saying. Yeah. It had to be one of his middle names mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think it has to because I think her father her father went by like I think I forget what his actual real name was. It might have been Albert, but um, and he went, he picked George because that's what everybody else did. So, it just seems odd to pick a son name that's going to be known as which Charles were you? That's oh, how. Yeah. The third I would come one. up. I would want to start with something unique. You know, I want to be. Well, they yeah. can't really. They can't really. You know, you can't have King King Eric. Uh, King Eric. King. King why? Diana. Why can you have Eric? Because that's not considered a traditional name. That's why. I thought they could pick him. Well, you, if you look at what they've named the kids, like William and Harold, and then Princess Anne, which is like, this is Zara. Because uh -huh. Zara is like 18th in line to the throne. They're so far removed from it that it's not. They're not going to have to like. Well, what did um? What is the the uh, Markle woman? She named her kid. They named their Archie, Archie. their son Archie. Mm -hmm. Don't laugh at Archie. And the daughter's name is Lilibet Diana. Oh yeah. And Lilibet is yeah. it was Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, that's Elizabeth. her nickname. Nickname growing up, they called her Lilibet. I think Charles should just come up with something unique. Why is it they're saying on Facebook? that they're making a queen a guy is it because it's a joke because they're saying that because there's been a queen for so long oh it's this whole, oh i, I was saying something that. about his pronouns and it's it's a joke that that um that because we've had a queen for so long now suddenly we've got to make it a dude to be more equitable oh it's because of how long she's reigned it's that whole okay. like Oh yeah, now we have to be. Oh, we have had a, We have to let a guy have it now. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I got kind of that. I saw that. I just saw it briefly. Whenever and something somebody was writing about. Oh yeah, but now we have to change the pronouns. He wants to be called a he or something. I don't know. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I've yep. seen that. And then I have I have friends who are sharing stuff from Black Twitter, and it's Black Twitter. Black Black <laughs> Twitter is going all in on like screw the colonizer part of this whole thing. Yeah, lots She's, of people are. Leonard and it's too. dark, sick humor, is what it is. Yeah. It's not dark Brandon stuff. No, I like Brandon. dark Brandon. Some of it, it's not quite as cool as dark Brandon. Some of the stuff's made me groan a little bit, and I'm just like, okay, I understand where you're coming from. I'm gonna go back over here. Jeez. I just wonder when the um, when the money will change, because um, the way you formally go and announce to the public a new monarch is by its currency. So I bet probably going to take the longest time. Wait a second. Yeah, I you don't, don't think they've had this design sitting for years waiting for No, I think gonna, I think, think they, they did this when, every I year it probably takes another photo and it's like okay, let's update the money. I, I'm guessing they already produced it. What happened here was when the um when the king died, the new king took his place. At that time, he was already having money made in France. The French made our currency. Mm -hmm. And right after the king died and the new king took place, within a couple of weeks, all of a sudden we were flooded with all this new money with oh, the image of the new king. So it was like two or three years of them producing money. And it was done in France, so people wouldn't know that the money and, was being produced. And from what I was listening to on CNN, they've said that it's going to take a while for that transition to happen. Because... <laughs> And and the reason is because stuff has been leaked. So if you've heard, um, they have these big, huge, elaborate plans. Like when this, when she passed, the plan for her funeral was called Operation London Bridge. 
all yeah. of, all of the royals have yeah. a, have well, a they, they also had a plan called operation unicorn which has been executed and that mm. is operation unicorn is if the queen dies at balmoral this is the steps we will take to move her body to london and there were some people that were like well why do they have all these plans and all this other mm. stuff well it's like if she dies the security detail, the issue, they have to make crowd support. Like, if this is not a funeral just for, like, I'm going to probably get up and watch the funeral. Well, of course, yeah. I think the whole world I told my husband I'm going to do that. They said that um, there, that I, I did see something on Twitter and not the dark Twitter. They were saying that what's going to happen next. And one of the things they were talking about is that everything in Britain is going to come to a stop. Yes. And they they're going to billions of dollars, they said. They'll lose billions of dollars of, of uh, revenue because everything's going to come to a stop. But I'm like, well, what's going to come to a stop? When aren't they going to have a zillion tourist dollars and everything else in there? Why, well, why do they say? You're Let's talking, see. well, House of Commons got sent home. Government so will come no to No government stop. work. I mean, but buses are yeah. still going to run and people are still going to get their milk and grocery stores. The still... basic things, but as far as... Um, like the post office? Post for office, two... right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for two weeks, everything is shut down for two weeks. The libraries? Yeah, and you've got... Libraries? Yeah, I mean, that's wrong. Schools? Well, well, today yeah. was the first day of school. So, like, Charlotte and... Um, what about National Park? George went to school, went to school and their great-grandmother died. Like, that's... Yeah. And he's Jeez. he's going to be ten and she's seven. So will the schools close for two weeks? I don't I think, think they'll so. close. They might immediately not be open tomorrow, but they may have. What about national parks? They're probably some of those places are probably going to be open. But this is the last time something like this happened was in nineteen fifty was nineteen fifty two. How about the bakery? That'll probably well. Pubs, floor shops pubs are gonna make a ton of money. The guy on CNN was asking, like, what when are you guys gonna run out of flowers? What about the hat? Would you shut the? Romero <laughs> 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 is on my team. The hat shop. You, I'm gonna fast. Yeah, what about the hat shop? <laughs> Gosh, that's such a nice picture of me. I wish I looked like that. <laughs> my picture shows up before I come back, and I'm like, oh wow, I remember when I looked like that for a moment. That, you know, I don't work for this. Is, is Good it, category. Is, this was a yeah. surprisingly. I thought we would have done this by now. Category. It, is it wrong it's that I'm eagerly anticipating the answers to this round? Like, I really want to know. I thought, it was, I thought it was great. Ahead. It is great category. Yes, yes, had done yes it, like it is wrong. We <laughs> haven't done it. And I'm <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. No one thought I of it. I would love now. to see pictures in this category. Yeah, <laughs> I got pictures I can share in a minute. I actually turned out there are eleven correct. Oh. Answers I determined during this, but didn't announce because it shouldn't affect anybody. Also, did anyone pick Corinne Bailey Ray? Because I deliberately mispronounced her name as a fake clue. No, I have guess no that idea didn't who work. that is. Yeah, I didn't even go. recognize it. I have no idea. Oh my god! Oh, we should have went with RuPaul. God. Wow. Oh, well, no, that right. surprisingly yes. correct mm -hmm. answers. We did. Oh, William! I told you there was one yeah, of the half. Yeah. Mr. T. Yeah, you're right. We didn't Wait, is Mr. T? Also. Which order are these in order? Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Mr. T. Okay. In order. Oh, we didn't get all these. David I'll put them in the chat too after this. Yes, please. The half. You, do you pity the fool that missed? Ah. Oh my god! I told you, I carrot looking. top was a red herring. I was looking at that. No, he's a red head. Yeah, well, this is Ruth, um, uh, Faith and I, Faith said it's got to be Carrot Top. And I said, no, he just put that in because we mentioned Carrot Top earlier. And she says, no, no, because his head like this. I'm like, oh, come he's on. A red, he's quiet. a red headed red. You didn't even know who David Hasselhoff was, Susan. <laughs> yeah, did you have to go there? <laughs> Everybody the is. You're going to call me out and shame me. I'm going to shame you right back. You don't even know who the <laughs> Hoff is. Well, I figured out psychologically that he put Carrot Top in there because we'd already mentioned it. And Billy Joel, that too. Why? Oh, my God. There actually is a Billy Joel Chia head. What? But it was a, but it was a spoof. It's a spoof. Oh, okay. It's not a real one. I Googled he has the beard. fakes. Yeah. <sighs> he has a beard in it that grows. I think not knowing who Dave, who David Hasselhoff is should be a point in someone's Thank favor. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Point aside, yeah. <laughs> I think I've heard that. Yeah, but he was in he was in the car show, the talking car show. Car show. But, but 
But by the same token, you shouldn't be in the trivia game. <laughs> Petty, <laughs> why? You mean he it was in the definition of trivia? Yeah, it's it's a knowing who David Hasselhoff is is a point for trivia, but it's a point <laughs> against your character. Well, so I don't know who Pat yeah. Maroon. Oh, that's the Marina McAnally. And no. according to the, the late chip, Norm Macdonald, Germans off, love David off. Hasselhoff. Who? <laughs> Germans love David kid. Hasselhoff. Yes. Can somebody please <laughs> explain to Ramirez that Mr. T is not Donald Trump? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> pity the fool. I'm, I'm questioning my marriage because he asked me who did it. Middle name is Mr. Middle name period. In Last the room. name is T. Well, you what? can't have him on your twenty. Pity be married to you, man. Hey, you got to show him. You got to show him. I tried. Hey, he asked, I've watched every single episode of the Golden Girls. He asked who Betty White was. Oh, I love Golden Girls. Hey, it was wonderful. Hey, Donald Trump's not on this list. Yeah, oh, Kyle, sorry, did you that was the Mr. one. Mr. Period T. He was, was on the picture. Letterman. There is a Trump. Right, sorry, Trump was the mistake. I I swear I checked and there was no In Trump, but then I double blood. checked tonight and he was there. Oh, so, so we, there. Trump. So we can have credit for him. Look at Correct. Seven. There. There are 11 potential yes. answers. He probably awesome. had on his Obama. desk at Mar-a-Lago. When, when did they do the Betty White one? Don't know dates on it, but yeah, I was surprised there was a Betty White one too. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. No way. Of course they're going to mark it off of her. Okay. All right. Good. Not too okay, bad. I'm, I'm not there for the yeah. scores yet. I'm almost cleaned up this thing here. I love okay, it. Okay, so before we go to scores, I'm going to tell you what we have next week because you guys jump off. Okay, bye. <laughs> ben has been on me all night. He's got his hand up for a category next week. I can't no. do it. Oh, no, that was okay. Mike. So I'm just getting you week. back, Susan, because you interrupted me like four times the last time what? I did a category. When did I interrupt you? Just now. Yeah. What? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. What? <laughs> Next week we have Suzanne and Terry. Terry, do you know that? Did you know that? What, Ben? Uh, Suzanne and Terry. You know that? And, right? and me. And me. I am saying they're together. Oh. Terry's not here anymore, is she? Hope she knows she's doing a category next week. Deborah's doing a category, and it will not have anything to do with Chia Pets. That's correct. Carl's doing a category. <laughs> Kevin's got the bonus, right? Are you sure? You want me to do Pelicans again? <laughs> Name I got it for it. And oh. I have an opening for a category. You know I'll do another one whenever you need me, but if somebody else wants it, I just did today. Well, I was going to... Um volunteer because i'm working on one. Oh, way to go cindy okay cindy. have a week all Ooh. right i will i'll put i'm gonna put gail on the following week and i'm gonna put cindy you Very can put good. me on okay. for the week after and rob's gonna go in the week after okay very good. See, you guys are so good to me. You want to keep this game going. That's why. So, so you don't, you don't have me down. I'm not scheduled for any time. Okay. <laughs> well, your, your hand's down. Your hand, your hand, your hand is down, Mike. No one would, uh, would think that. Right. He's sitting on his hands now. <laughs> you have to just stand with this with my hand up because it's. There you go. See? See? That's why we're <laughs> right, he's volunteering again. Put Mike down. Okay, Sometimes Mike, I just stand Mike's and I do the Arnold Horshack. Oh, 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 Mr. Carter. Here we go. Let's see how we did. Just enjoy oh, I forgot the moment about the where we are. All right. So we're all in the 30s, at least. That's good. Yeah, this is pretty close. Did we do mono rules on this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we would get zeros. We'll get one. Special master data debaters. I believe we had seven. I believe. Yay! Tied for number tied one. For first, <laughs> tied for now. the first place. Take a screenshot, quick. <laughs> I just uh, did. The devil's haircut. Eight. Oh. Enjoy. Enjoy this moment. Such disappointment bought, Rob. Enjoy this moment <laughs> of your life right now. You had the lead for And where are all the hats going?
There we go. Uh, we got eight. Enjoy this moment. <laughs> evil evil balls. Look at this. Look at the six. Evil. Uh -huh. Mary, we were talking in, in our room. We were talking about how a lot of businesses are going to be closed in Britain because you know she she died. And Romero asked, "Are the hat shops going to be?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just going to go out of business. Completely. They're not taking returns. That's for sure. Uh, no, no, no returns. Yeah, the hat the shops problem. are going to be in mourning for a month. They're going to do it well. Was. Everybody's going to want a hat. The, the empty builders. Special uh, little tweenie hat. We got eight. Mm. Enjoy your moment. <laughs> mm. Okay. I I thought we got nine. Uh, no, I take that back. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we got eight. All right. Yeah. So we're going to really miss Freddie Mercury. Eight. We got eight. No, how dare you? You almost had a perfect score. What did I say? What, well, I said we were a lock for a second. Yep. You guys That's right, you I'll had take it. three more that. points and they would have had the perfect score. Good and job. we could have had 42, 44, 46, and 48. During so, the team naming, so I said we were a lock. Take a for look second. at these people's names here and make sure you write categories that do not reflect uh. them. <laughs> something they are no good at impossible and don't and impossible. And, and if you want to accomplish that Susan don't put Caspian and Carl on the same team because oh, I didn't great. do that they did <laughs> honestly I was like half useless yeah and the other half you aced. The other half Carl, yeah. <laughs> I was in the first round with you guys and you guys knew that's ridiculous so, I'm not sure I'd ever heard of any of those 60s tv shows Oh, the Caspian doesn't do well in my categories because they're all like based in the 60s and 70s when he wasn't born yet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's he why he does so well in medieval well history. In that's why he does <laughs> wasn't things. born then either. I don't do the history categories, but he does well because that's what he loves. He does a lot. He you guys he does well understand. when I do baseball stuff. We, he doesn't do we, well we when I do trivia, trivia games. Trivia, since like, he was a little stuff. boy. He does a little boy. Trivia. So he's good at he he's really good at all that trivia. It doesn't have anything to do with his age. He does well, when it's writing. when it's related to the sixties and seventies shows we watch on TV, he doesn't know it. That's all. All right, Caspian, you're missing a lot that of little element of your education. So get started. <laughs> I'll start <laughs> watching then... my mother the car. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I want to watch that. That's no, but I like you. I like when he's on my team because he's he he balances what I don't know the history that he knows. Yeah, so, so I Caspian... think find the courtship of Eddie's father. I think Caspian should <laughs> take courtship of Eddie's father is a wonderful and just watch 1960s, <laughs> 1950s TV shows straight until well, you. Well, I, I need to get to that episode there. where Bill Bixby builds a bridge. Yeah, that'd be good. And then your mother the destroys car. it. Ah. Your mother the car. Is it like inappropriate to like work on the car? <laughs> <laughs> or even lift the hood? It's inappropriate just to just to ride her. It's inappropriate. And then or like, open the hood. Leave it change the oil there. You have you all have such dirty minds. I know. <laughs> there was this thing. Way to go, Carl. With someone who's harassing Jerry Van Dyke about that show, and he was getting all defensive. He goes, she she wanted me to drive her. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was weird. It was like just before he died. Did he, right. did he ever put anything in her trunk? Uh, I don't, I, hey, oh, he put the junk in the trunk. <laughs> it was really it was really easy to turn her on. Did you really ask that, turned... Deborah? <laughs> See, of course you did. Put some junk in the trunk. <laughs> you know, if you come into the money, do you like trade your mom in on a better mom? That is complete. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Somebody else has my mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Somebody else the whole new side of Deborah. Yeah. Oh, well. What if he gets in it? What if he gets in it? You go, Deborah. Yeah. He has to okay. do body work on it. Does he ask for extra? <laughs> When he has it redone, does he say I need extra? <laughs> Silicone. Yeah, well, you know how they use oh, like man. clay. Don't, don't knock those dents, dents out. I like in a bad part of, of town and somebody stole my mom. <laughs> he puts the turtle wax. Turtle I gotta wax on, oh, wax off. Paint the fence. Mm -hmm. Giving mom a massage, you know, with, with the turtle wax. The whole um, thing was a scam to get her pension. Oh. <laughs> 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 so so you guys didn't get the reference to to Bixby Ridge. Sorry, I did. I just yep. didn't want to. 
Only people locally knew the reference to Big Stupid. Yeah. It's this oh, bridge okay. yeah, no. and, and Kyle, okay. you need to check your spelling on weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh can, you're right. I never can spell oh. that word. Well, yeah. whatever. All yeah, right. Wired, so, wired no. did not get wired. it. <laughs> I'm about I before to, E except after C. I'm and about weird. to put up a new video yeah. with two raccoon videos that I just did two days ago. They came to visit again. This time with a cat. <laughs> we need the further <laughs> adventures of your raccoon, Susan. So, I Susan, I have an idea for if, as long as you don't mind your cats having to stay indoors at night once they're in. Um, they don't want to stay indoors. I know they don't, but they're going to meow all night. Oh, they'll get over that, and they'll be banging at the thing. Well, no, so so you could <laughs> because this would train both of them. They have these little air canisters that are motion activated. And you could put one outside to keep the raccoons away, and then you could put one in just inside to keep the cats away from the door of the cat of the thing. I can lock my cat door. It locks. That's true. That's true. I can but also the raccoons... set it so that it goes out. And then the raccoons can... will have to ring the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. The best thing to get rid of raccoons, to be honest with you. In my to, case, is to not put the food out in the other room. Would be well, the we don't. But what they've been doing is we've been leaving a big dish of water outside. Oh. oh. So they come up and they go, "Oh, look, water!" and they start playing in it. And they go, "Oh, let's go see if there's anything in the house." This is the house that has the, the food. And then they come into the cat door, and it was locked up last night. All the food. I mean, a couple nights ago, all the food was locked up. So what happens? They get in the habit if they come in and look around and yep. go, "There ain't nothing here," and then they leave. Then they we will not be on their list anymore. We get to make a tuna sandwich next time. <laughs> so what we do? So what I got to do is take the, all the water that I've been keeping outside. I, I can't have it outside anymore because mm. the, because there's nothing for them to eat in the house. They they've just been coming in and going, "Oh, well, what the?" Unless mm. they're there right now. But when I go to bed, I lock <laughs> up the right cat now. food. It's, I put it in my bathroom and I lock the door. Well, I don't lock it, but I close the door. Raccoons could get the key, you know. But um, <laughs> so watch for a video that's going to go up in a few minutes because I have two within a couple minutes of each other. So I'm going to put them together and, and upload it. So that's my news for tonight. All and right. We'll, and we'll see you all next time. Next time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Good night, Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Susan. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.